Paper Mario, we're finishing the game. The final fight, Shadow Temple as Kid Link. It's possible. It's, did it you is? know? Did, did, did you know gaming? <laughs> oh, wait, wrong Shadow Temple. Uh oh. Not, 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 <laughs> damn it! Oh, I, I get it! To the Thousand Year Door. I actually saw that in the speedrun. A guy, like, got into Shadow Temple as Kid Link. Yeah, you mentioned this in a previous Paper Mario. Yeah, I did. By the way, all four parts of the Paper Mario 1 highlights, now on YouTube. Yay. I don't remember if they were last time or not. Last you won't believe what happens in number three. Da, da, da. <laughs> last time. Top ten moments in Paper Mario. <laughs> number one. Christians hate him. Super Saiyan 12, the best level of Super Saiyan. Am I playing? Uh, well, I eat McDonald's, yes. Okay. Uh, I didn't get Chinese today. So I that? wanted to get oi vey, I wanted to get a fish sandwich, but Jesus. Is that why you were so late? You're like, I'm at McDonald's like 20 minutes ago. They, they stopped. They don't have the four dollar fish sandwich deal anymore because Lent ended. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. That was your explanation. Yes. That's fucking brilliant. They had a four dollar fish, fish sandwich deal on Fridays as long as Lent was going on. <laughs> So good. And I kept wanting to maybe one day. Okay, maybe one day I won't get Chinese. I'll come here. Today was the day. Oh, I'm sorry. That ended last week. Procrastination, man. Remember when we were playing this and like the save files got corrupted? Did they? Did that happen? I think so. That one, yeah. That that was a long time ago, though. It was on I'll, my memory card. I'll, I'll take your word for it. I was... Oh, what was I looking... No. So I guess, yeah, we just go over and talk to the dude. I wish there was a badge that would allow you to play as, like, another character. Or, like, cosplay as another character. Such as? Uh, Link. Yeah, the, the or Link like, emblem. Yeah, or, like, Hyrule Bowser. Emblem. We never got to this point, but there are, uh... There are four characters in Super Paper Mario. Not just Mario. Oh, really? It's Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Bowser. Nice. Oh, no more Wario? No, we'll, we'll ah! finish it classic. OG Mario. Alright, frankly, it's time to open up the barrier. I can't do Mario! <laughs> Sorry, I was stuck in a pit. You spent an entire episode doing nothing! It was <laughs> not plot relevant, it was non canon! I slayed a zombie dragon, dude! Welcome back. <laughs> Who the fuck was that bacon guy? <laughs> Now jump on the pedestal! Alright. So I'll come down to this. Let's do it! Oh my god, we have Germany and Italy here. Germany! <laughs> I'm gonna open a magic door! Yeah. Uh, this is gonna possibly go wrong! You know, it would be great because Germany is like. Because uh, weird occult shit and Germany are almost inseparable in World War II. Oh yeah, obviously. <laughs> Nazi Frankly opening the door! <laughs> to Shambhala! Deus Volt. Da 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 da! That was the Full Metal Alchemist movie. God damn it, just, just a bunch of Nazi goopas just coming out. And then America's dressed in his, like, American flag attire. Are you frankly? No, it couldn't be. You're just a photographer in this world. <laughs> oh, by the way. Sad news, the Fuhrer died. Oh, the voice actor for King Bradley? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. I don't know who they're going to replace him with on One Piece. He was also Sen Son Goku. Sen Goku. Oh, no! Oh, that sucks. I can't imagine anyone else for him. Oh, all right. Oh, by the man. way, mystic shit's happening. Damn it. Before he takes over the world, you must rescue the princess and stop the cataclysm. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's... Go in now. Uh, are you sure you don't want to come with us? I just get in the way. I'll wait here and watch the door. Yes, that's, that's it. <laughs> yes. Do it. Do it. Feed her. <laughs> no, that's not what I was referencing. I know, I know. Dude, every time there's a, like a sinister Swallow it, bitch! Every time a sinister German dude comes up now, I think <laughs> of that dude. People say you would centipede was a mistake. 
You know Adolf so Hitler. Funny. You know Adolf Hitler was Time Magazine's Man of the Year. Yeah, I know that. Something. <laughs> the so what you get when you vote by committee? <laughs> he seems like a popular dude. Let's put our stock in him. <laughs> I think it was after the atrocities happened too. Well, he was a very influential dude. Not this place is freaky, but we don't have a choice, Mario. Like, this place needs some glitter. Yeah, is that what California like some... girls like? Is glitter? <laughs> California. <laughs> Wish they no. all could be California girls. Apparently, California girls don't like Snoop Dogg. They excised him off that song. Was he in California Girls? Uh, by Katy Perry. Yeah. Oh, not the... the Beach Boys. No. It... <laughs> Snoop Dogg did not hang out with the Beach no, Boys at the age of two. I don't think two. Snoop Dogg was even born yet, dude. Yeah. Well, the Beach Boys are still around. <laughs> Just California girls and suddenly Snoop Dogg's laying down a couple of tracks. Oh, stopwatch. All right. Uh... Hey, buddy. Oops. <laughs> What if in the background of the Katy Perry song there was just the, just the sampled, the sampled Beach Boys song? Oh, we didn't reset, change our badges oh. up again. Yeah, you're we're right. still Danger Mario, but. Alright, fine. Yeah, we should put multi bounce back on. Yeah, because it's useful. Ah, I still got him. Okay, so California Girls is the Beach Boys, Katy Perry, and Snoop Dogg. You know the Beach Boys were originally called, like, a, they had the, a different name. It was like a, a choral group or something. Oh, really? What and it was called? entirely their producer who decided, no, no, you're the Beach Boys now. It's going to sell great. <laughs> he wasn't wrong. He wasn't, no. <laughs> All right, so switch. Uh... And at least some of them just hated the whole surfer business. <laughs> I, I guess you're in a jump, man. Yeah, you can equip some hammer badges. Well, I can equip multi bounce and then something else. Let's see what else is equipped. Ice match, head rattle, hammer throw. <laughs> Quake hammer might be good if you could, if we had the extra space. We'll get rid of something else then. Damage dodge. No, don't want to get rid of a power rush. That's our entire strategy. Damage dodge you could get rid of if you wanted to, if you were going to try super guarding. Uh, lucky di lucky start isn't really necessary. That's just random if it works, something happens right, at the start of the battle. That. And then... Oh! No spike oh, shield! Yeah, we need that in the That's ice. That's a good thing And the ice. Oh, God. We still don't have enough for quick hammer. We could get rid of lucky day if you want seven flower points. That just makes him miss more often. Well, we want that. Uh, what else can we get rid of? Simple fire. You get rid of it if you want. <laughs> well, I'm... <laughs> well, I'm Quake Hammer now? Yeah. Why didn't I do that before? Okay, Quake Hammer. It's because you're an idiot, Italy. Pizza... Let me sing for you the song of my people. On the top of spaghetti! <laughs> Alien. Yay! I don't remember if the all or nothing badge exists in this game. I think they might have got rid of it. Probably because it, it was just, it wasn't worth it. Yeah. Hey, I'm pretty good at this game. So, yeah, all those people just cheering for us. Yay. And we're not even a superstar yet. <laughs> we're only an A-lister. We haven't gotten to Dwayne The Rock Johnson level yet. We're still, what, John Cena level? <laughs> hey, man, Vince would get insulted if you say that to him. Is that his actual name? Vince McMahon. Ah. The, the owner of the company. Anyway. What was I talking about before we started? Uh... 
I don't, I don't fucking mind. Them. Really? Hey, you want to save this for the stream? Okay. Oh, right. Like, Japanese wrestling and the gay title. Okay, DDT. I was gonna... So, DDT had this uh, dramatic dream team, a wrestling promotion in Japan. Yeah. They had this uh, storyline in which... Uh, in which the company was taken over by a Japanese guy cosplaying as Donald Trump. Yeah. Like, with the fucking weird-ass, like, yellow skin, the the weird hairstyle and everything. Yeah. And they decided, and, me, and he acted as, like, the impromptu, like, general manager, leader, booker of the place. And, uh, one of the things he did was, like, he interfered, and, like, he, uh, took a match that was happening between two people and he decided to change it up. And so instead of being whatever match it was, it became... An anal explosion death match. Okay. Yeah. You know what that is? You just Whoops! <laughs> what? <laughs> it's, it's a match where the way to win is to light a firecracker in the other guy's ass. Okay. Oh, you got defense! Yeah. You didn't know that? No. It just flies by. Yeah. Oh! Ow! Good thing I don't have to finish them somehow. Oh, crap. What? We have 800 coins. <laughs> you wanna go back out? Kinda, we should, we should go Okay, fine! Them. We should go buy out the bad shop or something, God, I don't you, know. You, you... <laughs> God. I'm sorry. God what? damn it, Goobello, we gotta go on our shopping sprees! You and your fucking shopping sprees! You but Mario! You Girl stereotype! Go back to totally spies! Oh my god. But Jerry! Let's get some shoes. I'm gonna get you to watch the Totally Spies movie. <laughs> You're gonna have to put a gun to my head. What? What are you doing out? Somebody wants to go shopping! All right. Uh, oh, I guess so. <laughs> leave. Also, I think there was one. Uh... Which am I going left or right? Which is the right. Way? Okay. Right's the only way. There's no stairs on the left. Oh yeah, you're right. I think there was also one trouble center job that I saved because it was too good to not have on camera. Up the False pipe. False start. Up the pipe. That's okay, that was just the preview. Then we'll do this, and then I'll be finished with my burger, and I'll go in the temple. Thank you. More money! I missed! Ever tell you about the movie Falling Down? I don't think so. Right. And up the pipe. Okay. That movie's pretty great. Yeah? It's a story of one guy who's just fed up with life and decides he's gonna go crazy. Oh, you got a Goomba backing you up, do you? Yeah, that's cool. So, like, office space. No, this one's played for drama. Oh. And, like, so it's this guy... Who has like a light? Who was like a former defense contractor, but he's out of work, and he's just stuck in a traffic jam in one of the hottest days in California. Yeah. He just up decides, and he's like he's like estranged from his wife and daughter, and he's just living with his mother, and it's just really sad and pathetic. So he decides he's just gonna leave his car where it is, and when a guy who's who's behind him is like. What the fuck are you doing? He just turns and is like, I'm going home! Yeah. So he just hoofs it from wherever the fuck he is all the way to like his uh, estranged wife's house and out the way. He like trashes a fucking convenience store because they refuse to charge him 50 cents for a can of coke instead of charging him 89 cents. It's the world's pettiest revenge and I've seen John Wick! Yeah. Uh, bad shop and uh, mustache dude. Okay. Uh, bad shop. And mustache dude first. Oh, okay. Because his stuff changes. Fair. 
Why? That's not ma Where's the fucking mail? Important things under here. Uh. All right, let's. The rope bomb. Oh, um, is this right? Thanks for the honey candy or whatever. Oh, I guess you did that. Yeah. Uh, well, you're quite welcome, guy. I didn't. We also missed out on a fant on a uh, deep fantastic romance story starring Podley the barkeeper. Am I joking? Only true fans will know. You're probably not. No badges, just nope. items. You don't have any badges, you're useless. You just hawk fucking second rate lube. Dried shrooms and earthquakes. You can buy an earthquake for like 80 coins. What? Wait. What? Why are. But it's the beginning of the game. Why is he here? He's the first. Is he? Remember me? <laughs> no. It's me, Bluey. That last battle was hairy. You have no idea. I was burnt to a crisp. But I was actually kind of relieved. If you want the whole story, you should just act. Wah! He seems in better spirits than the first time. Luigi just gets shit for his right. trouble. Buy everything! Why? Another unsimplified. Or another Fuck it, we'll stack them! What? Does that actually work? Yeah. <laughs> Makes it easier, but you earn even less star power. Okay. Alright, here you go. Alright, back to me. Damage dodge, simplifier, and an unsimplifier. So unsimplifier, each hit will like generate a lot of ones, but it's like the frame is like frame perfect. If we put two unsimplifiers on, every action command will basically be super guarding. And super guarding would be even worse. All right, what else do you got? That's it, huh? All right, I'll take it. We don't have any bad stockpiles at all! You bought us out! Oh no! They're set for life! And they yeah, their store will never be there again. Now it'll stay there with him selling nothing. I s- What do you have to sell me? Nothing. Some Italian dude came and bought us all out. Oh, do we have- <laughs> Oh yeah, I got all the shine sprites and all the partners are ultra. That reminds you... Just imagine going into, like, a porn shop and then going in and it's like, Oh, sorry, guy cleaned me all out. Reminds me of a picture. I saw a picture of, uh... I wanna meet Luigi! What? Okay! I must meet my darling Luigi. Come to the fountain in Poshley Heights for details. Just put on the badge! <laughs> just, just put on the badge! Put on the Luigi badge! What were we just talking about? Guy buying out a collection of pornography. Oh yeah, I saw a picture of uh, Sailor Venus. Not a picture with any nudity, it was just her with a giant arm full of dildos saying, THEY HAD A SAIL! What?! Because I guess Venus is the whore? The goddess of love, in, I don't in, know. In Fanon? But if, but what about wasn't Jupiter the one going? Oh, he reminds me of my old boyfriend. Yeah, and Usagi or uh, Moon was also the super romantic. But we found the back of the trouble center. We snuck in here. And it's not like Ray didn't have her share. Of, or sorry, uh, Mars didn't have her share of. Uh, On rare occasion. Of like she was handsome. In fact, the only one who uh, who didn't seem to play the dating game was uh, Ami. Does that disappoint you? No. I mean, oh. it's just something that is like, it's like, you know, people do that sort of thing. Yeah. Actually, I don't remember Venus ever actually, like, going on any dates or expressing any interest in boys. And in fact, I think the wiki, like, said that according to the creator, she takes her ro job as a superhero too seriously to date. So that's just entirely fan-made based on the idea that she's, you know, Venus, the love goddess. <laughs> so she must be so a slut. It's, so it's a bunch of western dudes pointing going, Well, why'd you name her Venus then? Yeah. 
It was the planet, not the goddess! Oh, that's why Mars is cold, I get it. There we are, fountain. You accepted my request for trouble help. Tru- huh? Trouble help? Wait, no, go back! What did that say? You accepted my request for trouble help. <laughs> help with her trouble. Okay, I get what she's saying, it's just phrased weird. For trouble help. I thought maybe it'd be Luigi. Oh well. So could you bring him here, maybe? <laughs> Me? I'm a huge fan of his. I have to meet him. I want to give him a cake. I have to give him a cake. Oh no. Bring Luigi here. Got it. So how do? We, so can we complete this by? Uh, do we complete this by getting him? Oh, and, and by the way, there's some guy who uses a badge to pretend to be Luigi. I know that green suit is dreamy, but come on. Oh. I would never fall for that. Oh. <laughs> but she will! So we can- <laughs> just- Oh! You mean... Like this? Wah! <laughs> oh. I was hoping she would fall for the charms of Oreo instead. Oh, By the yeah. way, it doesn't work if you have both on. It has to be only Luigi. Oh, so it does work! I you can't actually grab well, him? Well, her dialogue doesn't change. No, you can't go talk to Luigi. I don't Should we go try? <laughs> yeah. Hey, bro! It's gonna be a trip. You got a fan! I've never done this. Fuck it. Let's talk to Luigi. <laughs> you only completed it by being the asshole brother. Hey, Mario! <laughs> Your throw has struck first. Whee! But it failed. Koopa Troll's attack missed. I'm just the asshole who uses minimize six times. Or double team, or what a sand attack, whatever. <laughs> Why do, why do I care about coins anymore? I'm fucking Luigi. I'm fucking Luigi. Even Ain't nothing but Luigi. Even with the maximum number of coins obtainable in this game, it's nothing compared to a run of Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> 999 is chump change. In Luigi's Mansion, when which it goes up to the millions. Luigi blows his nose with Mario's pocket change. <laughs> That's why I laugh when people like make fun of Luigi. Luigi doesn't need to go on superhero stuff. He's basically the living the life of a rich rapper. Yeah. Just give him all the fuck. He gets all the money. He's just swimming in fucking the treasure vault like Scrooge McDuck. What would his rapper name be? Uh, Envy Green. Okay, sure. Cause you envy him, get it? You wish you were Luigi. And then his... <laughs> I scaled Hate Song Tower and rescued Princess Eclair. No, I'm just telling you, you got a fan. No, no. nothing. Okay. <laughs> it's just this guy like some guy looks at the two is like, man. <laughs> some guy looks at the two of them while Mario's just like, is like. How could anybody ever fall for that? The guy go next to going, I, I can't tell which is which! Pulling the gun to which to both of them. Twin magic. <laughs> Twin magic. <laughs> That'd be it's like Luigi has a match with somebody, he goes under the ring, and then Mario comes out, and the ref can't tell the difference. That'd be a weird form of magic. <laughs> For them to do that, just guy, like, two people to try to play a twin magic gimmick with no, would neither of them look the same. She spends a lot of time thinking by this fountain. She's leading a double life as the secretary of the Luigi fan club. Double life? It's a secret. Okay. Where are you? Are you embarrassed? All right. I am Luigi. I can totally tell. You're the real Luigi. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Mario's just looking like... So th this is blatantly Mario being an asshole. He's openly lying to this lady. <laughs> well, so you talked to Luigi, he didn't give a fuck. There's no flag... He's just chilling with his fried calamari, buddy. There's no Luigi flag for this quest or for you being dressed as Luigi. He doesn't care. The one I baked sucked, but I may have Zest T make this one. Take this. 
Choco kick. Oh no! Hey, why are you dressed like me? Imposter! Why? I'm Luigi! Say something, Mario! Uh, eh? Mario said nothing. He's so much like Luigi, it's creepy. This is a nightmare! A bad dream! And then Luigi fucks off. <sighs> really, thanks, Luigi. You're so sweet. I'll always treasure these moments. You came again. Yeah, I did. Oh, that's it. Okay. That was it. You seem frustrated. Damn it. You didn't think Luigi'd show up, huh? I didn't think he'd show up. And Mario just like, ah, I don't know who he is. Hey, bro, I didn't mention it at the time, but I saw you wearing my clothes and you asked about a fan of mine. I thought I'd follow you. I feel betrayed. Silence. <gasps> He's just glad he didn't get caught. But masquerading as Luigi. Alright, now we can go in! Ah, it's only been 30 minutes. We got time it's today. so sad! Just... No respect for Luigi. Even his fans don't respect him. Like, Luigi showed up, said, hey bro, defend me, and Mario refused. <laughs> He's like, what are, you, what are you talking about? I'm a Luigi. Yes. <laughs> now I understand why most wrestling games that use the Mario Brothers have Luigi turn heel. Like, it makes perfect sense. This is a step one to seize Luigi's fortune. <laughs> oh God! Mario's had enough of being the the poor guy. I saved the princess, and who do I get? Jack shit. I'm still a virgin, Luigi. I'm a 40 years old. God, Luigi has, has like a, oh, enough money to hire a bunch of, but not only prostitutes, but Princess Peach look alike prostitutes. The bullets can't. Ah, uh, golden uh, bullet. Bullets can't hurt me. Bullets don't affect me. Bombshell, Bill. Yep, same old deal. Yeah, just. Not Game Boy Colors this time. So, I, I mentioned a couple times on stream my new campaign to uh, catch all the Pokemon by generation. Uh -huh. Like, I get all 151 and Gen 1, and then I get the 100 and Gen 2, and put them all in Pokemon Bank. Oh, he hit me. Wow. Oh, shit! You actually took some damage. That's okay. I can recover. All right, you, you and uh, there is a flaw in this plan that I may or may not have mentioned, is okay. that uh, they never released Generation 2 for Virtual Console. Really? Yep. Oh! So, uh, there is currently no way to get Pokemon from the actual Gen 2 games to later generations. It is not possible. Because Gen 1, Red, Blue, and Yellow, they put on the 3DS Virtual Console. Yeah. So you can... There's actually an application where you can get... Original OG Gen 1 Pokemon all the way up to Sun Moon. Yeah. Which is pretty freaking cool. Unfortunately, they, you skipped a generation. Yeah, there so are, and a... as far as I've heard, there are no plans to release Gen 2, which sucks because it's my favorite generation. Why not? Hopefully that changes. Because it gives a heart gold soul. Hopefully there's like a, hopefully there's a virtual console version of Gen 2. I wonder if part of it has to do with the, uh, with the glitches in Gen 2, like the really easy cloning. Oh, is that a thing in Gen 2? Just... Yeah, Gen 2 is the easiest cloning glitch by far. Uh, now I'm wonder... worried about people just fucking farming out Pokemon with good EVs to people, like yeah. selling them for in real life cash. Or, you know, 50 Lugias. Which is a legitimate concern if they didn't find a way around that glitch, but... Yeah, or I, infinite views to be to be exact. Infinite if, of whatever the fuck you want. If there was a way to get 
a Mew in, you know, gold silver that would go through. Because there are... Or just get one from uh, Gen 1 and then copy it over to Gen 2 and there's, then just clone it. There's cheat detection on Pokemon Bank. They oh, is there? They won't let a Mew glitch Mew through. Oh! If it's met on Nugget Bridge. What if it's met somewhere else? Or, I think it's, uh... Both locations you can do the Mew glitch that it's counted for. So, my next goal... My <laughs> next, <laughs> oh, shit! My next plan was if they were to do the, uh... If they were to make Gen 2 games for Virtual Console, I can try the much, much, much more complex Celebi Egg Glitch to get the mythical Pokemon. And that's a whole deal in and of itself that I might try to do when we do do Gen 2 Pokemon. Just for the sake of having it on stream, because it's really weird to see happen. Yeah. And, uh... So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping they do Gen 2. In the meantime, I'm just moving forward, and now I'm on my Gen 3 games. Okay. Which I found out I do apparently have all the cartridges for. Oh, that's cool. I didn't actually know that. Hey, that works out for you. Apparently I bought them at some point and never played them. I actually... I loaded up Emerald, and just to... Because I wanted to be safe, I checked the old file. I've never played my Emerald cartridge. It still had some randos file on it. Oh my god. So, uh, I just robbed some dude of, like, two Rayquazas and, uh, Latias and shit. <laughs> two Rayquazas? Okay. Apparently he traded, because he had someone else's Groudon, someone else's Kyogre, and someone else's Rayquaza. Plus his own. Oh god, I remember this room. Oh. Oh, this is really dangerous. Speak of the oh, devil. hey! All or nothing. What does that do? If you hit the action command, you get extra damage. If not, no, no damage. How much extra damage? One. So, it's yeah. It's not worth it. No. Ow. Oh, and all the way back. Better make sure you got healing items. Oh, crap. Yeah, this is a hazard to me. Yeah! I, you I, just, uh, I told you! Okay, I'm gonna take out the enemy so I can be nice <laughs> and careful. Oh, oh hey, there's, there's one. one at a time. Hey, you can heal! Yeah. The enemies are my healing. They're not a threat, they're my sustenance. And they're vampires too, the irony. Yeah. I told you about that plot in uh, Magical Pokemon where there's a vampire who falls in love with a guy at a blood bank. And so to see him, she goes to the blood bank and donates blood every day and gets really sickly. Oh, that's so sad! It's a funny kind of, you know, irony, though. Funny kind of Vampire it's donating blood. It's gift the Magi. <laughs> Don't let your greed get the better of you, Mario. Come here, you fuck. Mario. You know that was an actual character, right? Mario. That was the, like, secretary, like, character in Mario Maker who told you how to do shit. Oh. <laughs> of course Mario. What was he dressed like? Uh, just generic secretary. Oh, just that's business boring. casual. That's boring. Yeah. I would have thought it would just be a woman dressed as Mario. But we already have Linkle. Linkla. Is that that it? Linkla? I don't know. I, I don't... think it's Linkle, but I'm not sure. Okay, the threat is passed. God, of course this place would have field hazards. The one threat to danger Mario. It's like in the opposite playthrough, it's just like, oh, I have a lot of hit points, these are useless. And then now you're Danger Mario, it's like, oh shit, this is actually a threat! I think they buffed fire bars, it used to take a lot fewer jumps. There we you go. Got him. No, you don't need the cash, just, just Yeah, that wasn't worth it. Him. Nope. We're not fighting. Oh god. It's a good thing we went back when we did, not after this point. Well, oh. F okay, thank God it doesn't send me back to the beginning, beginning. When you get hurt, just go take out that fire dude. Yeah. Just heal off the enemies. Yeah. What <laughs> sucking vampire them? More spikes? No more spikes. Oh, this is the skull room. Skull? Oh no! Those are some weird colored bones. Very suspicious. 
You remember this was this was a kind of room in Hooktail's castle with the red ones? Oh, no. <laughs> One shall pass. Let those who disturb her sleep fall into the depths of endless darkness. <laughs> Zombies! Kill them all! Oh. Fuck off. Go away. Oh, so you have to uh, hit that guy. Yeah. Get can over here! Can they actually, can you actually, like, clear the entire room of them? I think they respawn. Oh. Yeah, in the, in the Hooktail Castle, this was a bunch of dull bones and one single red bones. Which, by the way, in Japanese, he was not red bones, he was bloody bones. Oh, wow. So it was like someone who died in a bloody death. <laughs> Well, I course. guess they decided that wasn't PG enough. For America. Yeah, America! Since they're all the bad shit. It's the baddest of the Bones gang. The baddest. Oh god, Literally I don't want to get- bad to the bone. I don't want to get boned, Mario. Ah! Damn. Uh, it's eight. <laughs> we'll eventually rise again. Sometimes build friends. So just a stronger version of the normal. Okay, let's just hit it then. One shot, one shot, one three, shot! Four, five! Uh, uh, uh. Only three star points for that dude after the pit. We I survived think, the pit. I think we're only like two levels away from the uh, maximum badge points. Yeah. This is the most successful story mode run I've ever had. This is the most successful? Yeah, because I had to, on my file, I had to grind the pit like four or five times before I reached max badge points. Uh, fuck! I'm trying to think of what would cause you to be so... Miss! I probably was just avoiding enemies more. Ah, that, that makes sense. Da -da 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 -da. All the power. None of the restraint. Cutting bullets in half of his mind. Soon Mario is just gonna is just gonna develop intense headaches and and then he's gonna lose an arm due to a, a laser satellite hitting him. He's gonna replace that arm psychically with metal. What? A Akira. Oh, is that what happened in Akira? Yeah. Yeah, that one that Tetsuo. I remember he had a metal arm. Yeah. I don't remember, like, satellite lasers or shit. Like, the government was after him because he was a crazy psychic dude. Yeah. And These guys are worth zero points. Gold, fuck that. Hey! Oh. We kill, uh... We kill 46 more of them, we get a level up. Mario's quest to pay back Luigi for that loan he gave him last week. Oh god. What, for 5,000 coins? Yeah. That's insane! How am I gonna get that much money? I don't know, figure it out! Go save the world, jump into a pit or something, I don't care. How you Not see? my problem! Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mark, remember when you posed as me and made a fan hate me? This is what you get! Remember when I said there'd be no interest? Yeah, that had changed. I got that idea. You. You clear out this uh, this palace, and then uh, and then I'll buy it out from under you, and then we'll call it even. You'll save the world so I can keep being rich, and we call it even. <laughs> I'll just be here getting my dick sucked. Yeah, that's where Toad at. Mario do this, Mario do that! When's it gonna be my day to shine? Mario says, Luigi's shadow government. Mario's the one who's the star of all the games because he's the one who needs the work. He's the puppet. Yeah. It's like it's... Luigi is only appears in the games if he's in a good mood. If they can get Luigi to show up for a Mario party. <laughs> Mario and Luigi were both, like, like supposed to be 
pro wrestling tag team, but Luigi managed to break out and expand his business interests while Mario still keeps, like, breaking his body for the entertainment of a viewer. It had to take a lot of convincing to get him in Smash 4. That's why he sounds low, so reluctant. Let's a go. Let's a go. Luigi time. When do I get the bed? <laughs> I've never. Wow, I've never seen a video game character phone it in before. That's why his dash A move is just so weird. It's just tip his window. Ah, uh, I, I'm a fighting. When can I go back to ghost busting? Oh, right. Speaking of Pokemon, that we were like 20 minutes ago. Yeah, we haven't done that in a while, but I don't know. I haven't been feeling the mood. For Those it. kids on the bus are back. Oh, are they still do going about their Pokemon hating business? Uh, one of them said today, you know, I'm I'm gonna sell my Pokemon cards. Okay. And then, and yeah, then the other on. kid said, you should burn them. Oh my God! No! And they both decided this would be a good idea. What? You're okay. I I have these cards. I should sell them for some money. And the kid B goes. No, you should burn them so you get no money. Good idea! No wonder the fucking country's dumb! Oh, I know, I, and then one kid was saying, Oh, I know all. I know a lot about the Pokemon creator. I've done a lot of research. Oh, is that that same guy who's like... He doesn't believe in God. Yeah, that guy, that kid. Uh, no, don't need... Uh, lots of life shrooms. Yeah. Those are your, those are your energy tanks. Don't need sleepy sheep. And then finally, it's. Meanwhile, I'm a saying. Coin. There. Meanwhile, there's a kid next to him saying, you know, if you don't want him, I'll take him. And I'm saying, you know, guys, it'd be an, a nice thing to do to give him to someone who'd want him. And they're just utterly ignoring me. They keep talking. It'd be a very generous Christian thing to do. They keep talking, ignoring me. I do, it, it, there's gonna be an order to this, but I don't know what that order is. Okay, I think it's where the torch is. There we go. Yeah. They always have to have one of these in a Mario game. Well, the fucking puzzle shit. That's the one criticism people had for Thousand Year Door was that it just repeated a lot of stuff from Paper Mario One, and it does have a lot of the same puzzles, but still, it's better than what we got after it by a quite a large margin. Except for color splashes, people are saying it's actually pretty good. Well, Bacon has been saying that. I haven't heard that from anyone else. Well, there could be a Mario game in which his, uh, in which his first words are, uh, Kept you awaiting, huh? Welcome aback. We keep referencing that. We should probably explain that there was a... Uh, so, we were watching Bleach, and, uh... After... For those of you who don't, who don't follow Bleach, there are, like, periods which it has some very awkward filler. Let's explain how Bleach filler works. Yeah. In most series, filler is, is fit in in a way that, you know, it just... It's a standalone plot that kind of happens, and then afterwards you get back to the main plot. But it fits in... It's usually in, in between, like, arcs. But it fits in, like, in the story somehow. Like, yeah. oh, they, they went to this village for this period of time. Yeah. In Bleach, they did that for the first filler arc, and then after that, it was the, filler arc, the filler arcs were during, like, the big raid. Yeah, it was, it, how it worked the first time was, uh, was, Cause there was Ichigo a, has just re rescued Orihime. Anyway, fuck all that, here's this other story. They, what they literally said, there was, like, a pendulum on the screen, and they said, They're busy doing this, but let's just pretend that this was going on instead. Ha <laughs> ha! The laziest. They said outright, let's pretend this was happening instead. And then we, they just started the filler arc. That does not pl fit in anywhere. Yeah. And another filler arc, the longest one to date, that was the one in which the Soul Reaper swords came alive and started, like, attacking their owners. No, I can't. And then so that lasted did, a long-ass time. They did that for two filler arcs. The, okay, let's pretend this didn't happen. And they did that for all the later fillers. And the second one was the swords arc. And that happened for a time, and then it seemed like it was over. The bad guy was defeated. Oh no, we've still got all these swords we need to beat. We got cleanup to do, guys. More filler! So it lasted like twice as long, and they, they tricked you into thinking it was over. It was a stupidly long filler arc. <laughs> and then at the very end of it, they had the gall. The first non-filler episode opened with... <laughs> Aizen, or I'm sorry, the, well, the bad guy just... 
looking at the camera smugly and saying, Welcome back. Fuck you! No. <laughs> it was so self-aware. That happened, and we just looked at the screen, just burst out laughing. And not only, it wasn't just that, though. He said, welcome back. I'm sure you've been missing something or other. And then you, he went on a whole spiel that all fit into the whole filler business perfectly. They knew what they were writing. It's just... <laughs> Just poor, it was just poor planning on their part. Yeah. Like... I mean, I like that the dubbers had a sense of humor, assuming that yeah. was the dubbers. I hope so. I don't know, maybe that was that dialogue was in the original, too. I mean, I, I'm sure Japanese dudes watching it, Japanese people watching it were like, What is this shit? Yeah. You know what I realize? In retrospect, I think the ones... There are two series I can say this about that... Yu Yu Show and Hunter x Hunter have both aged like wine. And that they're the only series I look back on and think of them more fondly the more time passes. Uh, like, my respect for them grows the more other series like, I see. Like, a lot of, apparently from what I heard, like, a lot of people that like to, like, rag on anime, rag on Yu Yu Show for having weird angles, but I didn't, re I don't remember that being a problem. I haven't heard of that. Like, weird framing or something. Huh. I don't agree with them. I'm just saying that that's, like... The I'm, only thing I can think of is that there were a couple of points that got weird. Like, uh, when he used his dragon sometimes, he'd suddenly get all cartoony and rubber hose oh, looking. Oh, yeah, yeah. As far as plot goes, though, Yu Yu is really good. Well, and the characters were really yeah. solid and endearing, and they were all unique, and, uh, God, it was such a good show. Yeah, Meanwhile, if you ask me, I, I can't tell you fucking characters' motivations in WWE, so... Yeah. So that I means... mean, there are other really good shows. I, I love One Piece, but... We only, we watched Bleach mainly because it had some, some crazy-ass characters and some crazy-ass shit going down. Yeah. Fucking... We're gonna merge Mexican food and Japanese food in ways nobody's ever thought possible. Okay, that works, I <laughs> guess. Somehow. No one needs to get in the mouth. Yay, we have we have we have unlocked the pier. We can now sail for the palace. I think there's a way you can actually glitch onto that platform without removing the statue and enter boat mode. But I don't think you can get back on afterwards so you're stuck and you have to reset. I'm sure speedrunners have abused it. I'm sure. So this is a thing. We have a dungeon in the dungeon. Dungeon dungeon. <laughs> Yo, man, I hear you like dungeons. Put dungeon in your dungeon. A sub-dungeon, if you will. Then in that dungeon is a gungeon. Guns only, please. You think there's gonna be a gunner, pa uh, gunner party member in Epic Paper Mario? Because they don't have to stick to full Nintendo standards. Like... Like, just, like, a, a character that happens to use guns? Yeah, sure. Oh my god, what, what would it be? Uh, a Sniffit? Oh, that would be great. Beyond, 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 complete all seven before, before. Okay, so I think we have to clear all the other rooms before we can do this one. No? No, you got it. Spooky. Oh no! It is a chest. Mario looks inside and loses sand points. <laughs> Why is this key in four dimensions? Oh god, Goombella. Mario, are you growing tentacles? <laughs> god. Ugh! I love the Toru hammer. Oh, you don't have the hammer for it? You get the uh, last hammer in the very last dungeon? That sucks. No, we have the last hammer. Oh. Then how do you break those? All you see is a... Okay. Thanks. Real hard. I gotta read these in the voice of Christopher Lee. Christopher Lee. Uh, R.I.P. And so, this new puzzle 
revealed itself to me. Would you be down to watch a movie that Christopher Lee was in from like the 80s? Sure. Just Which like, one? uh, Horror Express. It was him and Peter Cushing, aka the guy who dies on his Death Star in Star Wars. Okay. In the Necronos alphabet, certain letters arranged in, a, in accordance with black geometry. Black geometry. No time to think about. Someone somewhere appreciates Rhapsody of Fire as much as we do. I, I hope. They're a really good band. So you kill them, right? Go away. Go away. Let fall the weakest. Then build to the strongest. Uh oh, so you kill them in order. I got it. They're all weak to me. Anything times zero is still zero. <laughs> is that man punching a skeleton? Why, why did you turn into Osaka there? <laughs> Damn it. King of the Hill, except Hank is not married to Peggy, he's married to Osaka. King of the Hill. King of the Hill plus that, and uh, and his life is more uh, of a comedic Japanese anime than the slice of, American slice of life. Baka! God damn <laughs> He just picks that up. God damn still... it, Bill Baka! And, and also, he still hangs out with the rest of his, uh... Oh, that would make Bobby, uh, half Japanese. God damn it, Bills! <laughs> God damn it, Satoshi! Is that me? <laughs> I just want to ride my lawnmower. That boy is Sundari. <laughs> Hank Hill anime, please. Hank Hill... <laughs> It okay. must be Hank Hill, but with crazy anime shit happening. You, you know, uh, you should look up fan fictions that are crossovers between King of the Hill and any anime. Uh, do I have my phone on me? No, I should do that. You know Hank's Japanese brother? I know, yeah! That's what Maybe I was thinking. Maybe he's married to Osaka. <laughs> or at least to an Osaka. <laughs> Hank Hill's ja I, I love thinking about Hank Hill's Japanese brother. Yeah? It's like His wacky adventures... Well, it's like it makes sense because his father, like, fucked around in Japan, so... He has a really stereotypical American neighbor. <laughs> What's that, Hill? Your lawn's not as good as mine. Yeah, that's right, it's not. Booyah! His name isn't Hill, is it? I, like, no, Japanese it's, I don't brother. know what it's it was. Japanese. He was a half-brother, but... Hey, Hank's Japanese brother! I guess he would have took his mother's name, because, you know, Cotton fucked off. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Stereotypical Japanese neighbor, I think, of Kenny Omega. He lives in Japan. Yeah. He's like, he considers himself to be like a, a Japanese, like, uh... You know how people move to America and consider themselves American? Well, he moved to Japan and considers, he considers himself Japanese. Yeah. And I'm just thinking about him just like... Just like doing the stereotypical like fingers across the eyes thing like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like... And then Jap Jake's... Uh, <laughs> Hank's Japanese brother just looking at him going... Oh, that's how you solve that puzzle. Yep. Makes sense. The rooms, they're linked. So are... Uh, the deep chest has arrived. So are you Mexican or American? Canadian. <laughs> Wait. Oh, so you are as polite as me. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. He's, he is a member of Bullet Club, so... Those are the two, like, most stereotypically polite cultures, are Japanese and, uh, Canadian, right? <laughs> yeah, I And guess. I guess kind of English, uh, all g the gentleman gentlemanly stereotype. Uh, they're, uh, Canadians are, are polite because, uh, 
because they don't want to be seen as like rude or they don't want to be rude. Uh, Japanese people are polite because they don't culture. want to dishonor their families. The British people are polite, but only to your face. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Just pissed off all the British people, <laughs> but only on the inside. Only on the inside. <laughs> They're still gonna be very nice in our comment section. Yes. And just stool about it in their in their <laughs> private chat rooms. Yeah, I don't know where that. You was. believe what this person said about the British? <laughs> what a fucking cocksucker! Hey, hey, they were all big on like. Uh, oh, here's your dollar, by the way. Oh, thanks. Uh, they were all big on like being a part of the EU till they decided that they didn't want to anymore. So you know what? There's some truth to that statement. Oh, I need. Those keys are, are worthless. I need to get the star stone. Oh wait, so you got all these keys for nothing? I will. I would have needed to get them eventually. So. Okay. I just gotta use the port again. Apparently, I was looking up ways to uh, get the mythical Pokemon in in Gen Three, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, and there is a glitch I can use, but. Apparently, you could get Jirachi from Pokemon Channel, the GameCube game. <laughs> Wait, is that the one where it's just Pikachu watching TV and yes. shit? Yes. <laughs> yeah. But only the uh, the UK and Australian versions. What? They didn't put it in the American version. Oh, yeah, that's right, because UK is always the last to get new games. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so as like a kind of an apology, they usually put like new stuff in there. To like, you know, hey, you guys get get this next, and it's pretty cool. An Australian got it, but with half the episodes. Australian get it, because they censor everything! <laughs> Sister Pokemon, they just don't need to censor that. And, and unfortunately, Game GameCube is uh, region locked, so... <laughs> oh, that sucks. Better modify it. Nah, I'll just, I'll, I'll use the glitch. And hope that it can get through, because I think the way they transfer... I also need to get some more, uh... I, I need to actually get the Pokemon games. I don't have anyone, any of them past Gen 4. Uh, I need to get the New York Pokemon games. Oh, you do! Uh, you have, uh, what was it, Moon? Well, I mean, I don't have X and Y or Black and White. The, those yeah. are two generations. Oh, those two generations. The generations in which... The, the poke it less ah. resembles Pokemon and more resembles Power Rangers. Yeah. Because, uh... I can't tell a Power Ranger Zeo well, from a hole in the ground. Uh, you should say Digimon, because Mega Evolution <laughs> is absolutely Digivolving. They got the fucking... They had Digivices and everything. Digi, no. Digi-Destined. I think they started... Pokemon Black 2, or maybe Pokemon X and Y or something. Those, those are the first ones that you can battle with Pokemon Bank. You know, the one oh. that you can stick all your Pokemon and they have like 3,000 boxes or whatever. Uh, man. But uh, before that, you have to transfer everything up generation by generation until that point. So the oh. only way I can get my Emerald Pokemon up to Sun and Moon is to have X and Y. As like a bridge. Yeah, makes sense. Or, uh, at least I hope that game is enjoyable for you. Oh, I say I still I plan on getting them at some point. I've never played those games. Yeah. If only I could stream it. <laughs> That's... I think we should when it's in the funds. We should go like halfsies on a streaming 3DS. Sure. We can both use it for whatever we want to. That sounds good. Kid from the night, he's like, "What's we we'll talking about? Pokemon? Everything's all Pokemon. Pokemon's like." Yeah, well, Pokemon was the only one that won the Monster Wars. Yeah. So? So now all monster trading games are Pokemon games. Yokai Watch tried for a little while, but uh, we don't want to talk about what happened there. Oh, what happened with Yokai Watch? Oh, I don't know. Like, we had. Digimon was a competitor, obvious. Uh, yeah. Yu Gi Oh! was big competitor for Pokemon. Yu Gi Oh! wasn't a competitor for Pokemon. You know what it was a competitor for? It was a competitor, it was a competitor for Magic the Gathering. You say so. They're, it's a card game! But the anime was the competitor for the Pokemon anime. Fair enough. Those were the two big things. In, in school, you were either a Pokemon fan or a Yu Gi Oh! fan. Am I wrong? Yes, because you there were also magic fans. Yeah, magic fans didn't exist. Those were a no! myth. No! Those I, were a myth. I went to high school with magic fans. We're talking fucking Pokemon. We're talking about ten year olds. 
I wasn't 10 years old when Pokemon when Yu-Gi-Oh was out. But all they were talking about was, oh, another dragon! Oh no, this is only the third dragon we've seen. <laughs> Stop it with all the dragons. No one's disturbed me in aeons. I killed your sister. Isn't that Hooktail? What's it doing back? I... You destroyed my precious younger sister? I am gloomed to- Oh, I'm the dark and edgy one. Yeah, we also beat your older brother. Wait, you what? I surrender! <laughs> You're my- I don't have- My older brother died a long time ago! Yeah, well that apparently didn't stop him. We beat him again. Oh good, a threat! No, you didn't channel oh, on him! right, I, damn it. I caught myself. <laughs> you, I was so eager. You got, to, you got lost in the combat, man. I was so eager to one shot him. <laughs> you just, you just charged him. Like, Wait, no. You, Mario, no! I haven't pulled out my book yet. Zelrog got bloodlusted for just a second. Well, you got. Oh no, she's poisoned. Oh my oh, god, it's like I have left. Just the, just that how much, huh? Okay. It's like I breathed in Beijing. Wow, so much for that fucking dragon. Be grateful it took me two turns, weakling. I held back. Just level for a fucking... Oh, you can level up! Oh, oh, damn it! So close. It's okay. It's okay, Almost the there. sisters are coming. Yeah. Sisters plus one. Sis the sisters of the replacement. I wonder what that could be. What? So that's three dragons, Mario Feld. <laughs> there were dragons here. There aren't any more. They all died. Mario actually legitimately killed some fucking dragons. Yep, Dragon Slayer Mario. With nothing but boots. He kicked it. What'd you do? I kicked it in the face really hard and it died. I didn't even have to use my hands. I can beat you with my tongue. Nah. What about you? You didn't get to fight. You want to go around with me just for fun? <laughs> Kalua the dissector. <laughs> Remove the heart, put it in a bag, and show it to you. That's mine. <laughs> the Give it back. Give it back. <laughs> he was. <so laughs> I love it when uh, when people like have that look on their face and they are about to take no pleasure in what they do. Yeah. Get people that are like that are like like Apache that are really into combat and they're like, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. And that's all well and good. I love that. But there's but on the equal footing is just the, where they just look at a guy and there's all grim face. They're like. This is gonna suck for you. I'm gonna yeah. lay you down as such an enormous ass kick, I'm gonna feel bad about it. But it's better if they don't go so far as to angst about it. Yeah, like, no. No angsting about it. Like, uh, what's his name? The, the... <gasps> the, fu the fucker in the, in the games? <laughs> what? He, he tricks you? <laughs> what? Kira. Uh, oh, you're talking about... Oh, yeah! He's a Kira. Yeah, from Bleach. Like, he, he is so miserable whenever he fights. He's just like, we're a part of a combat squad, we don't take pleasure in fighting. Well, you know, if you love your job, you don't have to work a day in your life, dude. Yeah. Uh, I just walked on water. <laughs> okay, what do, you, what do you want, a religion? You know there's a glitch in Paper Mario 1 where you can swim on land? Actually, they're both glitches. You can swim on land and walk on water. And swimming on land is more useful because you can like dive out of bounds and get out of get through loading zones and shit. <laughs> of course, it would be. Sushi the deep one, able to swim in land. How is this possible? Okay, boss. <laughs> that old. No, yeah. What if he's just about Kira? Is that yeah? He doesn't have a smile. He's very angsty, dude. Except for the one time with the aforementioned filler. Where he decides he's gonna fight that guy, he had that really, he had that really creepy smile on. Did that happen? Yeah, he's like smiling. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, holy shit, Kira, never smile again. And he threw a fucking bomb at him. 
Kira did? Yeah, he, like, borrowed, uh, that one, like, 69 dude's, uh, exploding necklace thing. Did he, he like, threw it at his all fucked out. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna take your word for it. I have a memory for really crazy shit, alright? Okay. That's Let's the do... only way my memory works is if it's really fucking out there. Oh, I'm still missing a key. We didn't, we missed one room somewhere. Oh, damn it. The last key you gotta pickpocket. Like, you gotta, you gotta pick the lock. No, there are eight rooms. I think I just missed one of the, uh, like, one of the stone rooms. Uh. Bye! Oh, there you go. Oh. She made it somehow. Got that. Yeah, I guess just check all of them. Sweet tunes by the Blue Man group, by the way. <laughs> Just clanking on garbage cans <laughs> back there. Yeah, I love I love postmodern noise metal. What if they did a Smurfs movie with the background music by the Blue Blue Man Group? <laughs> Who would fucking care? Yeah. No, nobody cares about the Smurfs movies. Nope. Or the Alvin and the Chipmunks movies. Are there? I think they stopped making those. They're they're on to Smurfs now. They're making more of those. Why not? What were the other things? The ones with like the snorkels on their heads? <laughs> Teletubbies? No. <laughs> there was another thing that was like Smurfs, but not Smurfs. Oh, fuck. Oh, I don't know. I never saw them as like in cartoon form when I was a kid. Maybe they're older than Smurfs. Ewoks? <laughs> I still think Ewoks are adorable. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. Well, they are adorable. Everyone thinks they're adorable. That's why it's so fucking weird that they would beat the Empire. <laughs> no, it's not weird! Uh-oh, it's moving. Every time people give that fucking argument where it's like, you know, the Imperials totally would have won against the Ewoks, I think of the time actual British dudes tried to fight Zulu, like, Zulu tribesmen. They got their asses kicked. Yeah. Or the time that the, well, it's not the Spanish conquistadors lost to the Aztecs and Mayans, like, really hard. The only way they won was because they brought diseases with them. Not weird in the sense that it couldn't happen, just weird in the sense that you wouldn't expect it. I guess I wouldn't, know. <laughs> or that it's amusing because of the contrast. Also, we also like, they, in that movie, they showed scenes of just, like, Ewoks getting their shit wrecked as well. So it's not like it was one-sided. Yeah. What if they showed a scene of, like, an Ewok scalping someone? <laughs> There's this little cute teddy bear thing committing acts of brutality. Well, let's go. <laughs> and he's got does this he, Does he see these cute little bears with the flayed corpses up on their tree houses? There's a little a picture of an Ewok and next to it the caption, This is the most dangerous race in the Star Wars canon. What the fuck? When the fucking group got captured the first time they went to Endor, they were about to be roasted alive and fed to C-3PO. C-3PO? <laughs> yeah, they worshipped him as a god. Oh. Because he was golden, you see. Okay. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, oh, yeah. We've been waiting for you, Mario. <laughs> so frankly, you've turned traitor! Is that <laughs> right? You should have known not to trust a German! <laughs> Damn it. Stop perpetuating negative stereotypes. I'm sorry. Vita. Vita. <laughs> Opening the door for you? What do you mean, you old hag? Do I, how do you feel? Sissy? Perhaps even thankful? Oh, uh, yeah. My name's Duplis. I'm here, guys. Oh, he's, he's knocked out in a closet somewhere. The real Frankly. Why did it show Frankly just to, like, <coughs> to, like fucking throw you off? It would've been great. Oh, well. I'm sorry. Don't yell at me. He's just as abusive to him as he was to Vivian. Yeah, he seems to be tolerating it a bit more. My name's Duplass. Come on, guys. All right, time to say goodbye to these assholes once and for all. Should have took out Vivian. Oh well. Yeah. Beldum is like a salty awesome knots player. If I kill her first, it'll be their fault for sucking. If I kill them first, it's their fault for sucking. <laughs> well, kill her first. This can't possibly be my fault. Okay, I already tattle on all of them. Whatever. 
You know, in all honesty, it's like a guy getting salty at your teammates after you lost it, and the only reason you lost is the other guy was cheating. Yeah. Like using hacks or something. Like a cheat engine. I'm not quite enough to I'm quite enough to strong enough to one shot the whole team, so I'll do one at a time. I'll leave the rest to you. I've done my part. I I helped! Bonk! Wow! Uh, oh hey, you, you dodged it! Wait, it's a coin! Yay! One coin? You cheat, bastard. I guess just uh, use Mario and uh, I guess beat the shit out of the rest of them. Pose. So uh, go. Yeah. Bobby. Smile and wave, Vivian. Yeah. So uh, what's going on, man? I want to be me right now. Oh, we should have been the. Oh no, he's gonna be the partner. I was gonna say, say we should have been wearing the L badge so we could turn into Luigi, because everyone wants to be Luigi. You missed! And point blank! Oh, it's a power block! No space. <laughs> well, uh, cool seeing you again. Mario, don't do it! He's me! <laughs> you would hit me, would you? You tried that once before! This makes it easier! That was that was actually very thematic because it's like as almost as if you're fighting the three of them at once yeah. again. Fucking sadist Mario is what we're getting out of this. Mario Pachi. Uh, one more level. I don't think we're gonna get it. No, we'll just have to kick their asses. Ugh. She will never. Good, uh, conveniently vague villain dialogue. Never, ever. Oh, so each of them has different dialogue. What do you got to say, Vivian? I'm, I'm sorry. sorry, sis. Blobbery says. Blobbery. Blobbery. Let's leave these cats, Mario. <laughs> I think most of them is just, let's leave these X. Fuck them. Let's leave these idiots. So, cats, idiots... Jerks. Let's leave these doofuses. Oh, okay, okay. That's Beldam. Remember Vivian's sister? This sounds bad, this plan of hers. I, I can't really get a good read on her. Is, uh, almost as if the only words you know are... <clears throat> Duh. She yeah. doesn't seem that bad, but who knows for sure. Man, you... Who I guess is a shadow siren now. Also, not a bad Franklin impersonator. <laughs> it's a style. <laughs> no, but seriously, Franklin's totally not on your side, bro. I was just a body double. Probably heal. Ah, eh, she's fine. You, 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 you could probably. I mean, it's okay. She walked into a door. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> Whatever you say, sir. I don't know, we might we might be able to manage to squeeze out the level up if there's a the astrological on, patterns are aligned depending on the enemies and how much they give these guys might be strong enough to still give one apiece one, two oh yeah they are one apiece, yay how you feed did you, did you put badges? What badges? Oh, right, I saw yeah, three, just get, three more badges. any one of them. No room for that. So. Oh, wait, I know what I can do. Is that 5 and 15? Just fucking, get, like, use the items you have. Yeah. Actually, no, none of the items are as useful as just Mario straight up attacking a dude, so... Yeah, I should. I guess I don't need the. Uh, Dude, I don't think, need the attack items. You think we can one shot the Shadow Queen? Who's that? We don't know who that is. Sorry. What are we talking about? The final boss? You know they have the gall to make the final boss of this game not give you any. She gives, she gives you one star point. You know, much like that dragon. Yeah. 
Like, like they could at least give you a free level up for all that trouble. No! You don't need it! One thing I do love I do love about this game is that uh, you can continue after the final boss. It's not an infinite ending. Oh, that's good. Which is nice when games do, because it always feels... It feels like you're never really completed it. If the last save you can do is just before the final boss. Yeah, uh, that's was the pro that was a problem that a lot of people had with uh, Fallout New Vegas was that it had an infinite ending. And that also has the problem that you know the inevitable the advice party member or whatever is always saying, "Hey, when you're done with this, you should go fight the bad guy," even though you've already done it and you know saved the world and everything. Yeah, that also happened with the original like Fallout, except. At that point, they, they decided it was a bad idea and they released an expansion that allowed you to actually continue afterwards. Yeah. As new content, too, like some after mission, after the game finished, like mission stuff. Yeah. Pretty good. I don't know if that's the case with Fallout 4, though. I, I haven't played it yet and I know jack and shit about it. Bye, Bobbery. Okay, what useless item is this? Harder to hit. <laughs> Harder than hard, I guess. Be very interesting. Just crank our evade stat up to max. Yeah. Never max dodgy evade. Mario. Paper art. <laughs> That's where they got it. What did those do? Oh, is Ooh. that from the next room? Yes, it is. Well, you fucked up. No. Nah. What are you up to? Nothing. Dead end. Alas. Hey, Chomp. Oh. Ah! <laughs> I came out of nowhere. Can you imagine if there was an enemy in this game that was like the big fish in Mario 3? No fight, it eats you and you're just dead. Instant game over. Instant game over? That would suck. Hey, you read my diary. Ooh! Oh, no. I can beat you up without even unrolling. Okay, so I need... I can kill you just by staring at you. So I need those up. The yellow and green. You know what to do. Oh, well, why were they? That's so why weird. put these here? To fuck with you? Hey, let's put. Oh, okay. I need just the yellow. Should have paid more attention. Yeah. Oh well. Can you make it? Oh yeah. yeah I guess you'd use a. Uh... You could use Yoshitron. Yoshi tr Dragon, let's go! We should have named him Mitsu. <laughs> oh, why? Yoshi Mitsu? Oh, yeah. Ha! But. One's a fucking. One's a, one's a literal dragon dinosaur, uh. Scrappy fighter, and one's a noble thief. Is he a thief? Yeah, y Yoshimitsu is a part of a whole, like, clan of, like, Robin Hood type motherfuckers. Oh, I didn't know that. He's in the lore. And, like, both incarnations, both Tekken and Soul Calibur, he's like that. Or him and his clan is like that. Yoshimitsu is not just one person, it's like the name of like a guy who, oh. is Yoshi who becomes Yoshimitsu. So there's like Zero, or Captain Falcon in the anime. We should watch the Zero anime. <laughs> this is a... You already told me the ending! I know the ending, I've never seen it though. Okay, we should totally do it then. I hope there was nothing important in that other area above before. No, I guess we couldn't have gone up there, this was the way, only way to go. Oh, hey, random fuck gears. Because, you know, ancient, I guess, civilization ancient stuff clock still works. Punk. Yeah. Ancient, ancient, ancient civilized clock punk. Ancient steampunk civilization. More gears! Now 
Machamp? Nope, wizard. You're nothing! The barbecues in Sonic were more threatening! a bunch of people just going down like it's like when Vegeta was on a rampage he's trying to find Goku and he just decided he was gonna take care of like a bunch of Frieza's holdouts yeah <laughs> oh actually I guess at that point it wasn't like holdouts because nobody knew he was dead yet yeah oh you mean I, I know what you're talking about yeah after Frieza was you know taken care of so assumed to be dead the first time around Yeah, I don't know what you were trying to do. Yeah! You just jump on metal. Take that! Gain life from it. Blood from metal. So what would be a challenge run of this game? Uh, double damage, obviously. Yeah. Or, uh, Double damage, unsimplifier. Five health without. Oh fuck! Without danger mode. Oh yeah, that would be that would be that would test your super guard. Yeah. If you wanted to get good at using super guard, you do that. One zero one one zero one zero. Binary. What does it say? Well, this was a brief distraction. Uh, one zero one one zero one zero. How much longer? <laughs> it's not like the enemies are a threat. Oh, we totally need that. Get rid of the, another one. Get rid of the stopwatch. <laughs> Oh no, you could use a stopwatch. Get rid of the shooting star. This is needlessly obtuse. Or oh, just you, huh? Just you, huh? <laughs> just like a guy! Guy approaching another guy, STOP! Just you, huh? Punch! I wonder when the next sale is. Password accepted. Welcome back, Prime Minister. Prime Minister Toadsworth. Spoiler, Toadsworth is the big bad of this game. <laughs> he wanted to seize the control of the... He wanted to seize the means of the production from the proletariat. You know what I read about in Epic Paper Mario? Apparently, one of the... The plot of Epic Paper Mario involves, like, a, a Mushroom Kingdom fighting force. Like an A-team like or a Power Rangers squad or something. A fighter to protect the kingdom. Okay. And one of them is, like, a toad martial artist who is not the master from Paper Mario 1, but Dang similar it. kind of deal. All right. And that comes with the lore that apparently Toadsworth was, like, quite a fighter back in his day. I was quite the fighter. Like, That's what Epic Paper Mario posits. The so Toadsworth, Toadsworth once kicked ass. <laughs> That's so cool. I was quite a fighter back in the day. I'll bludgeon people with my cane. Some of the stuff you're expected to blow fl with Flurry in this game is a little obtuse. Yeah. Then you... A weak spot. What useless item is this? Oh, a coin. But we also got... What is that? Point swap. It's swap... Well, maybe FP and HP. 
That's not good! Well, if the partner uses it, though. Ah. Oh, so you sacrifice his life to- or the uh, partner's life yeah, to, like, refill your flower points? Yep! I need your power! But Mario! I'm using that! Give me your Soma, Goombella. <laughs> yeah, that's something I wanted to picture. <laughs> Oh, you made it! Yeah! Is this the way to go? I, I, well, what's down here? Seems like... See, I knew there was stuff there. Okay, life shroom. Use... Well, except for the... The life shroom seems like the most useful thing. But not worth getting because we have, like, eight of them. Yeah, we, we have an effective, like... We have too much hit points. We have eight life insurance policies. Let's cut one head off! Oh, fuck. I forgot. I didn't realize there were two of them. The final boss is just like, WHY WON'T YOU DIE?! Right. The final boss isn't gonna have time to do any of them. You missed! At point blank. You suck. Get good, scrub. Easy. HE JUST WON'T STOP! We gotta stop him! We've sent everything at him! You won't die. Whose Goomba did you kill? <laughs> that fucking no one is Mario. <laughs> this is the sequel. He gets a new Goomba to replace it, and then a guy contacts him for one last job, and he doesn't want to take it, so they burn his house down. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you go do that again? Because I, th I wanted to see what's on the far end, and it's All a right. locked door, so I, need I do need to go to the middle first. Alright. Tell me, how are you going to kill me? My Benefita! It's like, it's a scene in which Mario confronts somebody, and they're, they're like about to take a bath, and they're like, oh shit, you're here to kill me. Yeah? Alright then, slits his own wrists. I take it these are John Wick 2 references? Yeah. Oh god, you're gonna kill me with your bare hands! No, my hands are too good for you. Stop. Mario smashes a guy over the head with a hammer, and then... <laughs> and then the crowd cheers! Like so! Did that that actually happened John in John Wick 2. Uh, John Wick is like found out at a party, like with a concert and stuff. Yeah. And he's like running from like guards that were there to kill him. And he runs up on a stage and he shoots like a guard trying to kill him. And the crowd goes, Yeah! <laughs> and then nobody breaks stride. Yeah. No, really, I got shot! Yeah. I got shot. Call an ambulance! <laughs> that, that always gets me about that part is is the reason why he's up there is it was a, he was up he got shot while singing about how he got shot. Yep, that's the boondock That'll stick. Never not amuse me. <coughs> what happened? Oh, I uh, he got shot in the head while he was uh, singing about getting shot in the head. Oh, oh the irony. What was your favorite Boondocks episode? Uh, that one. Uh, the one in which, uh, one of the kids becomes a painter. I'm on the lock. Just... Stop it! I don't need no scoopy the key. I do, I like the painting one. That might be my favorite. Yeah. Because it turns out, like, the, the painting mentor was also kind of a terrible person. Cool guy, criminal Bob Ross. Yeah, criminal Bob Ross. <laughs> then again, he was just like a he, he. All he did was graffiti. He what? He didn't like rob places or anything, did he? I don't remember that. The, yeah, they both did like graffiti. This seems like final room business. All right. Like he did all this great graffiti, and nobody believed him. Yeah. 
Jeepers! Jinkies! This room gives me a super bad feeling. God damn it, I want, I want to see, like... Uh, man, if Bob Ross survived, I wanted to see him try his hand at, like, graffiti art. Yeah. Just happy little trees painted on the side of skyscrapers. It's him! We finally meet! I am... Brutus. So this chump is the leader of those... Has Brodus been mentioned by name before, or is she just... Assuming because of the X and everything. Well, because he's, he's got a scepter! Yeah. I am the supreme leader of the secret the society The secret Exodus. society! So, a cult? Is that what you're calling yourself? A cult German scientist. I didn't even remember if we gave him a voice or not. Wolfenstein! You've gathered together all the crystal stars. How'd you get in here before us? I just let you open the door for me, like every every villain in a Gather 7 Gadgets scheme. I don't like that trope anymore. We should stop with that trope for a while. Yeah. We need to Gather 7X, because it means that you'll know when the plot's almost over, and that yeah. kind of takes the suspense out of it. Took a whole season for Sonic X the first time around. <laughs> then we get to the first episode of season two, and they've already got like four emeralds. <laughs> now come! All right, let's face the techno mage. Hacker magic. I'm actually not gonna power bounce him because I actually need two turns for tattle purposes. Oh, maybe not. All right, take it away, Grotus X. I am Grotus X. It protects Grotus. Shield generators online. So his defense goes up for each of them. Oh, that's cute. So it's only when all four of them are up that uh, he has a shield. All right, well. In one attack, I breached your defenses. Hope you're ready to die next turn. Yup, your lightning missed. Well, so he's got 70 hit points, and I'm gonna guess a, guess a base defense of two. Defense of one. <laughs> okay, I was wrong about the hit points, too. So he's got three defense right now. Yep. You really think you could take me? Alright. Don't you know who I am? You're forcing me to use a special technique. That's admirable. Consecutive normal punches. You would have... No, we actually would... If I'd done my normal attack, it would have killed him. <laughs> oh, I, see I overestimated you. That was only four hits. Get up. Get I'm not done with you yet. I haven't had my fun yet. You are more than you see, but this is not fit. Nah, you seem pretty finished, guy. I saw even this possibility. You're still standing. That's actually impressive. Watch this. The fuck did you? That was some you weird. You hit magic. him inside reality. That was some weird dimension magic you got there. <laughs> I've got a hostage. Aha, uh -huh, Mario! I've discovered a third dimension. That's a crazy talk. There are only two dimensions! Everyone knows that! Don't move or I'll kill the princess. Miss! No! Guess not. Miss! So he knew he was gonna lose otherwise, so he decided he's gonna take the princess hostage and try and, like. You know, that unique trope that's never been done before? What are we gonna do? Charge! You know, illusion of, of choice. What? We're going to attack now, Bowser! <laughs> and with that, our alliance is finished. Now let's throw down. This is the end of, of uh, Paper Bowser. Have I put on weight? Your chunkiness! Are you okay? We must oh. flee, Lord Koopa! <laughs> oh, why is Mario here? Why is he here? And Peach as well! How'd you get in? 
I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna put an end to it! Right now! Oh, well, that's actually a good thing. I'm gonna pound you, I'm gonna take the princess, and I'm gonna pound her! And then take the treasure! This is a good plan! Yeah, oh my god! All this and- all this! I don't know about you, I'm exhausted from that fight. Easy pickings, he says. <laughs> I'm exhausted from the Grotus fight. I get- Oh no. Poor Bowser, he's gonna get wrecked! What's a finale with a Bowser appearance? A cruddy finale, that's what. Oh hey, Cammy's gonna fight this time. Oh, I guess tell on Cammy and take care of her out. Yeah, I guess I should. Wait! Oh, but what if you beat Bowser in the in the fight? It doesn't. I think. Cammy, take care of this, you burly hag, you. Uh, what? What am I supposed to do? I'm actually weaker than you! You just got one-shotted! That's like Frieza bowing out. Okay, you, you he beat me, but you can take him. <laughs> Go for it! I would love to see him try that. And then Ginyu steals the Super Saiyan's body, and it's good. And Frieza's like, good job, Ginyu, and then he breaks his neck. <laughs> oh, All is right. that it? Okay, then. Bye, Cammy. May you live the rest of your days in peace. Again. <laughs> This is basically the equivalent of Frieza coming back to fight Goku after he achieved Super Saiyan 3. I can take you this time! I have a golden Oscar statue for him. Okay. Okay, we made it! Alright! Max up. BP! God damn it. There's, everybody who fought him is like going, What just happened? I blinked and missed it. How could this happen? <laughs> How did you get so much power? That was Harry, says Goombella. <laughs> How did you get so much power? 100 sit-ups a day. Uh, 100 push-ups. 10 kilometers running. And no air conditioning or heating. Every single day. <laughs> I love that. Ah. That was Peach. Oh, oh no. Grotus used the distract. <laughs> Literally just enough time for him to execute that plan. You have to give him credit for coming this far. I actually, I almost respect him, actually. Okay, time to leave. Not that there's any threat to dying, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. Alright, so, uh... Guess... All or nothing! No. Well, okay, if you... If you oh, can... hey, I can give my partner more attack and less defense. I guess use the, uh... Do we have two of those? I think. <laughs> Just make the final battle the easiest, no. Uh... I give my I could give- be generous, give my partner some badges. Double dip partner. <laughs> we have just enough! <laughs> if you want to. No. Yeah, so partner- So survive, okay. I'll- I'll give you a break, Goombella. You can now- you can now be a better meat shield for me. Hey. Protect the glass cave. I haven't- Mario. Oh, I didn't heal her before going into the fight. I'm really conservative with my coins. It's okay, she healed up for- oh, an epic music. Bad. <laughs> We're back in the conflict. Sorry, Peach, you can wait a sec, right? Oh, they're gone! Yeah, Bowser's fucked off. <laughs> ah, I'm done here, bye. This must be the main hall or something. Oh, hey, look, there's healing over there after all. What's this? More items we can't, don't need. Ultra Shroom, fuck that. Fuck we don't off. need courage. What, why are you going back? You know what? I feel, I need some luck. Oh. I can only eat the trial stew in battle. Um, well, by that time, it'll be too late. The final boss will have arrived. Who could it be? Obviously, it's gonna be I'll Grotus. tell you who it's not gonna be, the Shadow Queen. It's gonna be Luigi. So, you figured it all out, Mario. I was actually... This whole adventure was just uh, from prep time for me 
to finally kick your ass. I had thought about it and it came to me. If I keep you from saving the world, then you have to pay me back again. And I can make a lot of money off of you. I'm doing the world just so I can increase the interest rate on my loan. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> and it sleeps the legendary treasure. The soul of a demon. The wielder of destruction. Ryzen! <laughs> I'm hungry, you got something for What me. are some other demons that could pop out of this chest? Inuyasha? Aku. Aku? He summons fucking Aku. <laughs> that would so... go even worse than how this is about to go. Oh god! That, that's a class X apocalypse if I've ever heard seen it. Like, Aku's got a negative credit score. He's never honored his word to anyone, ever. Oh my, he, every, be he betrays everybody the first chance they get! Every single time! Oh, you know, you know what would be a good, uh... Shit, have there ever been any, like, villain for... Oh, uh, Terracudo. Yeah? That would be a good one to have. He actually honors his word. He just pops out of the chest and starts making wisecracks. Him? Maybe, Drago? So, uh, you, huh? You're the one who summoned me? Well, I guess I don't have much of a choice. So, uh, yeah, she, she puts the mask on, right? Yeah, they force her to put the mask on, she becomes an Oni. Drago was a stupid villain. Drago... <laughs> he fucking took a boat. <laughs> like a dumbass. Oh no, a thousand years of darkness. It's actually 986 years, but a thousand sounds more ominous. <laughs> Chase Young. <laughs> he was technically, he was kind of a demon. Yeah. He turned he was, into one. He's a dragon. He's, but... well, oh, he was a demon. He wasn't really a dragon. He was like a serpentine lizard thing. Yeah, I guess. He sold his soul. I think that's demon-y. <laughs> he fights like a fucking JRPG final boss. Yeah. Chase Young and Sephiroth, the team up that never, never happened. <laughs> So, Dickless Sephiroth. So, um, I, I I don't know what goes on, but I'm watching a bunch of near Automata footage, okay. which is a video game made by yeah. Platinum, and uh, and I, I shit you not, one of the villains is a is Sephiroth with no dick. Like that's its name? No, it's no, just... it's, it's his name is some something else like Adam or some shit, but. But it's like, his, his, he popped out of like a mechanical womb, just naked, and he had no dick. Oh, okay. <laughs> Literally no dick! Because he was a machine. Yeah. It oh! There's a hole between its legs. It is here, this is your vessel, oh mighty Shadow Queen. And I say Sephiroth because he's got long white hair like Sephiroth. Yeah. Oh my god. So, that's me, does that mean that it's like shadowy and like... Uh, I played, I played this game in my living room when I was a kid, and my dad asked why I was fighting a ribbon. It's not a ribbon, Dad! It's the ultimate evil! You don't understand aesthetics, Dad! All the way to the fucking islands. That sucks. I say. What's all this, then? Am I to deduce that this is the end of the world? Go on an adventure, Sherlock Holmes. You can solve this. Well, you know, we're ultra we're ultra powerful, we could probably one-shot this guy, but what if we're wrong? Yet. Yet! Something terrible has happened. It's because we shot the kid. This is actually gonna take us a couple turns. Turns. She has 150 health. Uh oh. We'll do, we deal like 25 per. Oh hey, you're out of the closet. Good for you. This is unthinkable! Dun dun dun! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> I want that as an antagonist! That design looks so cool! And evil Shadow Peach is pretty cool looking. We don't get enough of this! Why could- can that be his costume in Smash? Where are the fun, unique Smash costumes? <laughs> no, fuck that, that takes effort. Oh no, I forgot, Nintendo doesn't want to acknowledge this series. Why not? It's only good. Have you seen 
apparently the final boss of Bowser's Inside Story is, uh, like, some weird rainbow drug trip looking Bowser. <laughs> what? Ego Bowser? He's like Dream Bowser, I think it was called. Learn your place, slave. He just zaps him dead. Well, this music is actually really fucking disturbing, so that's You know, cool. lady, I did that too. What's going on, Mario? I don't. I just don't. My queen. I'm here too. I'm a shadow <laughs> slayer. I'm here too. I love it. Because they all come out of the ground like really cool like villains, but then you got this other guy who has to jump in. Jump through a window. Let's go shoot with a party hat. Uh, ages have passed, and what is that with you? So and that's no way to talk about my sister. Gah. I search for a pure maiden. <laughs> An unfucked maiden. <laughs> This, every time I think about we need somebody pure of heart, I just mentally replace that with like Virgin. unfucked. Yeah. Unfu they can't say that in the Mario game. She is just like whatever. Yes, yeah, like, she is unfucked. <laughs> she's totally un free of fucking. <laughs> Not been she's fucked. She's fucking fuck. brilliant. Unfucked, huh? And they're always like beautiful too. You don't get like an actual like. Maybe we should become her servant. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. That'd no. be fun. I don't want to watch this cutscene again. All right, though. fine. I've never seen the other. one. I'll have to look it up. I I could have sworn we did it last time we played. It just no. said, and so the darkness befell the earth, and for everyone it was game over. <laughs> you will learn the error of your foolish ways. Meanwhile, Mario's like, Are you serious? This is the ultimate evil. I, I can take her. I shouldn't put the charge badge on. No. I could- I- oh my god. We could combine Danger Mario with Goombario. <laughs> Just- oh my god. We'd be approaching fucking, uh, mid-level We'd be RPG. a DBZ character. He punches and then the temple is just eradicated. We saved the world, but you destroyed Roadport, the collateral damage. You are the next thousand-year-old demon. You gotta get in the chest now, Mario. <laughs> get in the chest, Mario. You're too dangerous. The attack is only seven. Only seven! If it hits! She might even try to drag us into the darkness. I don't feel good about attacking Peach, but we have to do something. Yeah, let's do something. Oh. It cut itself off, I, I assume. No, I think I missed. Okay. That's still- HOLY SHIT! You're not weak. Maybe you're, you're less useless weak. than you appear. <laughs> His body is unfamiliar. Uh, I, I would like to see what would happen if we did one-shot her. I would sure she'd just have zero hit points and say the same thing. Yeah. Your attacks are like those of a child to me. It's like he hits her like three times like, SHIT I GOTTA GO TO MY TRUE FORM ALREADY! Alright. Well, let's end this. Oh! Impressive. <laughs> you... No effect! No effect! What the fu- Is that your idea of attack? Wow, she can actually put up. She's like when, uh... That one time that Kenpachi tried to fight that, like, Ice Godzilla. <laughs> and just got bitch slapped out of the sky. Yeah, but he... Cut made up for it later, though. By cutting a castle in half. As one does. <laughs> it was stylish, but still no effect. Alright. Why am I getting poison mushrooms on top of this? You missed! Because she's manipulating luck or something? So. It so, seems we're at an impasse. Stalemate. You can't hit me, and I can't hit you. When two gods clash. And the crowd's just throwing rocks! Are we- are we at a stalemate? Is the are we the bad guys? Does the crowd want us to lose? I think it's maybe her just, uh, just fucking mind controlling the crowd or something. Oh god! Fucking creepy as shit. So much for that. Darkest moment. No, my fans! I recovered from any slight damage you may have Slight damage! Earlier. Oh, these gaping wounds are healed. <laughs> I like would have damage. loved if she'd said this with zero hit points. <laughs> Will you 
serve me? No, Dude, fuck You're off. losing! I think! We're... You, you're not winning, we're at an impasse. I'm exactly as powerful as you. <laughs> it's been a while since I fought somebody that doesn't die in one hit. A rock fights a hologram. <laughs> well, now's as good as time as any to open a mail. Open the mail. Da 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 Hey, title theme! Yeah. You know, if the, if the game just let us kill him without going through all this, like, shenanigans, things would be a lot better. Yeah. But no. Hmm, no. What's this shiny thing? Did I get anything? No. Damn it. Well, I thought Mario had this thing. Hmm. I wonder if this related to the sky getting dark. Nah. He's a turtle. Turtles live forever. Do you think he remembers the last time? The thousand years ago? I think so. Oh this dear! Is so long! Coops, you're okay, it's right? It's a whole lot of nothing. I just wanna kill her already! I don't need all this! You're Let so me at her! I'm gonna punch her! I slayed three dragons! This is nothing! Get to Rec TV and get a free $200 A Visa reward card! No thank you! They're really desperate. Mario's in trouble! No, we're not! Mario's in- fair! We were Danger Mario at this point in the story. They don't know what we've become. Oh yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> before we did our training regimen. Before we ascended. Before we Saitama ourselves. Da da Gonzalez! I know you're fighting for all of us. Our wishes are for you. I love how the Shadow Queen's like, you peasant, you really think you can defeat me? And then she gets hit, like, down to half. And she's like, oh shit. We fought people with infinite defense before, and we beat them. She's putting in all of her power to, like, maintaining her defense so Mario doesn't immediately kill her. She's like, oh god, all... <laughs> all engines to shields. <laughs> All power to shields. Drop the engine if you have to. Don't fire the guns. All on shield. Vivian was her name, right? I liked her. Yeah, she's cool. I remember how easily he took care of that monster who had cursed us. Now he's just a, a shitty third wheel to a couple of mid-bosses. Don't give up! We're st we still haven't bathed since we landed here. <laughs> you know it's not worth it. Bathe in what the seawater? Who do we got to impress? There are no girls in town. <laughs> we have to make do with the animals. That one Goomba tried to get a girlfriend. Look what happened to him. He ended up killing himself. Oh, this is our Poshley Heights crew. The rich fuck family, Toodles, and the asshole detective. Yeah. Luigi's great, I'm sure he'll prevail. An apocalypse is gonna happen? You don't understand. This is a nice neighborhood. Wah. <laughs> Go, Gonzalez. Wah, my brother can take care of it. Or cousin, I, I don't know. Wah, Mario, I believe in you. I guess. I don't know why I do, but... I, I saw I stole that castle from you. <laughs> Where he was just sitting in his mansion drinking wine and he realized that the world is in trouble. Should I take care of this? Ah, nah. I was just a cheater like everyone else is doing. I'll wait till the minions actually come for me. <laughs> Ready and... Mario, yeah, you the bomb. Everybody's cheering for you to win. 
That is the kind of thing that would happen for Wario. Death comes for him, and he's so greedy and attached to his worldly, his worldly possessions that he fist fights death away. <laughs> I love that to be like a mechanic in the new Wario game. If you don't have enough money to pay off the Grim Reaper, he steadily comes for you in levels. I mean, that was fuck. That was basically conquer. Just do that with Wario. <laughs> now you would have to be a fucking bloody Italian, wouldn't you? Chess with death. Fuck it. They're all sending us our positive energy. Yeah, Sonic, you can do it. Save the city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that won't go wrong. Except, in this this time it's actual people, not just a tape recorder of invisible nobodies cheering Sonic on. <laughs> oh look, the city's flooded. Oh well, let's get out of here. Yeah, I play this whenever Sonic needs a boost. It helps his ego. <laughs> Sonic. Go, Goombella! What happened? Oh yeah, I guess the cheers of the crowd caused the queen to momentarily weaken enough that Mario gets an upper hand and lays the smack Mario. down. What? You're still in there? You wretched little girl! Fuck me, Mario! Fuck it right out of me! <laughs> yeah, too bad this isn't rule 30. The unfucked. It's, we found Un an unfucked. Unfu <laughs> <laughs> now imagine like, uh, imagine like Christopher Lee Dracula, or, uh, or the dragon from Skyrim, <laughs> or some like really deep, deep-voiced villainous dude. <laughs> Have you found an unfucked servant for me? <laughs> A vessel. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know the, that one, uh, famous queen, the unfucked queen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> unfucked queen I think, there, I think there wasn't there like an English queen that was famous for being a virgin yeah that's what I'm referencing oh oh it's not Mary it's Elizabeth unfucked queen Elizabeth <laughs> this is it we're almost done this ends the yeah it does can't flee this fight oh no these brave souls are like the last few people at the dark tournament who are still sticking around after yeah, Tigger after goes after ate, ate everyone all right. Oh, oh, so shit, though. Hey, I survived. You can't kill me now. Ha <laughs> ha. Wait, what are you doing? Nope, nope, nope. I, I died. Never mind. Good game. Any last words? I regret nothing. <laughs> Impressive. It didn't even have time to trigger the automatic... Love win. Impressive, you took me two turns to kill. I'll remember you. Now Man. give me back my girlfriend. <coughs> One. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. That's Thank fine. Thank you for distracting her long enough for me to nail the combination. Before he finally hits the final punch. This all took goes. place in DBZ time. <laughs> it was just a momentary distraction by Peach's soul, and that's all it took. Peach is gonna what is gonna wake up mangled, like her elbows bent backwards. She's bleeding hey, out. Peach, I saved you. You did it, Mario. Thank you. I could die as myself now. Call an ambulance. By the way, before I die, you think you can get rid of my unbuck status? I got eight life shrooms. I won't be gentle. <laughs> It reminds me of in War when Fucked you to death. <laughs> God, I tried looking for that book on Amazon. They took it down. I'm sorry. What, what, you, me, and Moro, what? I, I, I tried to find that book on Amazon. They took it down. I know you were saying something else though. Uh oh, they fucked off. Go! Hey, wait. What was I gonna say? Fuck. What was I gonna say? You aren't gonna say Morrowind. You're Morrowsaw. Right? Oh, and Morrowind. Uh, Morrowind. And yeah, Elder Scrolls Morrowind. There's like a demon you have to antagonize, and if you antagonize uh, antagonize him enough, he says to you like, "I'll after I kill you, I'll rape your corpse. Don't worry, I'll be very gentle." <laughs> Rated T for teen. I'm gonna rape you softly. God. I'm gonna fuck know. you gently. That was a song. Tenacious D song, I think. Uh, that or Meatloaf, I don't know. I can't tell them and Meatloaf apart anymore. Also, hey, new, uh, new P P instruments for Peach music. It's all over then, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you're dying. Sorry, was... I may have been a little rough. Peach is like, <coughs> that was actually very anticlimactic. I was expecting something more.
I like Paper Peach more than actual Peach. Paper Peach has character development. Yeah. Yeah, uh, personality. Oh, did I win? Oh, did... Hey, look. <laughs> now Mario has to go live alone because his power is so great. It's a risk to everybody around him. We should, uh... It's not gonna come anywhere near the original, but we should try to make, like, a Danger Mario build in Smash Brothers. Just find a way to do that. Oh, it's just max power. That's Danger Mario. Max power, no defense. Any badges that will, uh, go to that. There was a legendary treasure. Look at this chest. Don't bring me down now. How do we get out of this dank place anyway? Go back the way we came! Oh, yeah! Am I gonna get delayed this time? No, I didn't think so. Find me an unfucked woman. It's okay. If one day I marry royalty, I might have something to show off to Luigi. That's the only reason he hangs out with the princess, is he <laughs> wants to be rich oh, like God, his brother. He's a gold digger that got friend zoned, and now he's. Luigi's rich. Wario's rich. For fu all we know, what Waluigi's rich. He might use a genie. He can make money for himself. Well, Waluigi actually, it's, it'd be funny if Waluigi's the opposite in that he all he's all he just he's constantly broke. But he, so he lives up the high life as a hobo. So Luigi's rich and his opposite is poor. Wario's rich and his opposite is poor. Yeah. But as a result, his psychic mind and powers. Oh yeah, Ooh. Psycho Waluigi. Wah. I'm gonna be your research assistant next term. Oh, she's still in university? This was all like a project? Holy this crap. This was spring break. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> like, hey, uh, Goobella, you want to go to Florida again for spring break? Nah, that's okay. I'm going to head to Morocco. Don't tell anyone about that time I flashed the Blitz Pit, okay, Mario? Coops knows. Coops will, all Coops will remember this. <laughs> Meanwhile, Flurry's been naked the whole time. Three of our four female party party members don't wear clothes. It's fine. I'm ready to make a comeback. Uh, and bring Peach too. Uh oh, uh, huh? <laughs> it's Mario, <laughs> right? Flurry and Peach live sex celebration. You always be Gonzalez to me, man. There was a uh I read an article about there are like some women throughout history who lived their entire lives as, as men. Oh, really? Mario, I feel I've grown to. Uh... Never mind. Oh, that's sad. That is the saddest. I wonder if the dialogue as the, as the in the Japanese was. It was the same. Probably the same. Yeah. Oh, now I'm remembering uh, Tokyo Godfathers. The love that can never be. Incompatible orientation. Yeah. No, but there was a. Uh, I think it was like a military general, like, uh, was super well received, had a lot of military accomplishments, but, uh, never showered or slept with the men in the, in the battalion. And it turned out that at 79 years old, they did an autopsy and it was a, it was a woman. It was a woman this whole time? Her it's wife impressive. knew. <laughs> but no one else. Their it's kids great. did not know. Wait, their kids? Their kids. Oh, fuck did that happen? Their kids found out at the 79 year old's autopsy. My dad was a woman. And one of them was quoted as saying, She'll always be dad to me. <laughs> really great. Let's see. I know Scar. Okay, that's Bob Ray. Scarlet would have wanted this way. Let's meet again on the high seas, old boy. I will not say farewell, because farewell, you're welcome here any time. You bought out my bad shop. You're, you're a good customer for me. You put my kids through college. <laughs> Thanks. Mario. It's... Sorry, I don't have item space. Where's Flavio? He was a party member. These are very fresh mushrooms. So these grow, right? These face mushrooms? Yeah. I'm pretty sure the 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 eyes are just like markings in in the in the universe that they don't actually they're not actually alive. Yeah. You can tell that the the poison mushrooms are poisonous because they're either a slightly different shade or their uh eye, their eye markings are slanted and grow. Yeah. They're two different types of poisons. 
by the way, don't quote me on this, but I think this boat originated in the Mario cartoons. Uh, like the Mario 3 or the Super Show or one of those. Oh. I could swear I saw this same boat. <laughs> Not the Mario CDI games. I don't I can't say for sure. Might have been. Dear pesky plumbers, have a boat. Why is Bowser gotta be such a sourpuss? <laughs> I I'm not gonna repeat that. So, uh very awkward ending. You know what though? At least we're not deaf this time. Yeah. <laughs> hey! We can hear the background music. The last one ended with a giant explosion, this one just ended with Mario giving uh, the queen a five-finger knuckle sandwich. Mario didn't want the explosion that happened last time, yeah. And so he just put it all into muscle power, not pyrotechnics. Yeah, if that happened, then Mario's just like, God damn it. It's okay, though. This time we were dealing with ancient dark magic, not, uh, not cami science bullshit. It's cami science magic. You know, that magic science. I'll, be, I'll listen to Toadsworth and be more like a princess from now on. I should no, have you won't. I should have known better than to go off and do things on my own. Like, you know, like... What a very, uh... What a very inspiring message to women. Rogueport's positively shining. It's so beautiful. I mean, you know, for Rogueport. So, the queen's just dead, right? It's not like she's been sealed for another thousand years. She just... Oh, yeah, we killed the fuck out of her. <laughs> We're danger, Mario. Just hit her four times. It's like, no, mercy's in one more hit, and then... Her essence just scatters to the winds. I am the giant spirit of pollution summoned by you humans wastefully destroyed. Oh! <laughs> That's cool, bro. So wait, five punches? Man, I may be richer than you, but I wish I was strong as you. You're a pretty cool, bro. So uh, you got that to 5,000 you owe me? Uh, I got like a thousand. Uh, listen, I... That'll be good. It'll go well with the fight with the six thousand you still owe me, but the, I owe you. I owe you a five thousand. Oh no! There's the interest rates now, bro. Hey, uh, you know my friend Wario. He's falling on some bad times. He's got the medical bills to pay. Luigi, he's you're our... a friend of his, right? Luigi, he's our cousin. <laughs> You'll support him in his time of need. That's nice. Of you. <laughs> God damn. See, Mafia Shark Luigi. That that's that's why he has to leave town. He's a hermit because of that. What was that, bro? Was that your newfangled mail gadget? Don't try to get out of this, bro. He's just trying to flatter Mario by calling it newfangled. He actually has one that's like two generations oh, newer. God. It's a smartphone. <laughs> oh, is that your BlackBerry Five? That's a cool, bro. <laughs> Hi. He po He doesn't have the heart to tell him he's got an Android. <laughs> A gravity Samsung. Oh, is that the, is that the, the new Zoom? That's a cool Mario. <laughs> I need just to hide my iPhone. <laughs> remember the fucking Zoom? Yeah, I remember the Zoom. Remember, you know what was in that chest the the professor discovered? It was a secret. Fuck you, game. That is a secret. Ha <laughs> Oh, say, okay, so Goombella went back and uh, revisited a bunch of the places we went to. <laughs> the actual fucking ending's longer than the time it took to beat the fucking final boss. Goombella's travel log. I mean, at least he had a lot of content for the, you know, all the work that went into beating the game. Yeah. Koops wants to be mayor of Petalburg and live there in peace. You associated with the Mario? All right. That'll get you, but that'll bring the voters in. Are we gonna fight? So you remember in the first game we saw that float with the singer go by and we were always thinking, who the fuck was that? What did we see in the game? Yeah. That's what I always thought about this guy. When the fuck did he appear? What's that? Because I never did the atomic boo. I didn't know about that. Oh. The play she's doing is the adventure, is the story of our adventure. It's, it's called, called Paper Mario. Why? <laughs> Also, Duplass is in the troop. Who saw that coming? He plays. He's playing the role of Mario. Is Duplass, I guess. 
Duplus X Flurry. I shipped them. <laughs> Little Dragon is going solo. He's getting close to a title match. Isn't that All just right! Adorable? Yeah! He's the Great Gonzalez Jr. Really? Not Dragon? I gave you a great name with Dragon! He said that he oh, could he totally take you in the it. ring now, so bring it. You want to a die? Oh my god! I can take you! You sure about that, kid? The Yoshi goes for quantity, not quality. He just hits a bunch of one-shot, one-damage hits. Yeah. Vivian's back with her sisters. Family's important. Now the Shadow Queen's been defeated, I don't think Beldem's into evil. She's kind of given up on life. <laughs> ah, fuck it. She promised she'd never be mean to Vivian <laughs> ever again. I love this. In, in, in public. She turned British. <laughs> we should totally go visit her sometime. I wonder if you can go, like, meet Beldum in Twilight Town now or something. Beldum's like, no hard feelings? Don't kill me. Don't want to get hit again. That always hurts. I still have scars from our last fight, and I'm incorporeal. Bobbery goes out to sea every day with Cortez now. Oh, man. Bobbery lost his wife and made friends with a ghost, Spanish ghost pirate. <laughs> well, at least if he dies, he can still hang out with them. Ever on Keel Hall Key as well. Still, fil still filthy, but they say hello. Wait, she was the bad shop owner? What the whole time? Who knew? She turns into a badge ninja. And this is nice because we wouldn't have gotten this portion of it without Ms. Mouse, the optional party member, too. Yeah. <coughs> I think you're optional. I don't know. It's nice to have, you know, the optional extra. Just... Oh, I guess they just... Just... I heard a rumor that Lord Crump and Grotus were both still alive. Somehow! Grotus survived the moon explosion. <laughs> he survived this. Guess that makes them pretty tenacious baddies, doesn't it? They mellow it out, though. I guess they're just chilling at, at this place just being guards or Plus something? Grotus is just a head, which cuts down on mischief-making. Why? You, so you need my help to patrol this neighborhood? I, I, I don't get it. I don't know. It didn't stop, to go, like, Elder Tagoro or Dio. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> So you want our help to, like, patrol this neighborhood? There's no reason for it. Why? You don't understand. This is a nice neighborhood. Speaking of miracle survivals... God damn... Guess whose favorite calculator is still computing? How is he still alive?! Oh, you know, it's Mario. No one dies. Death's too busy in Berserk Land. Death's too busy in Berserk and JoJo and all the series that have a lot of death to bother with Mario or One Piece Land. Well, I guess so. There was one thing that weighed on me that I never got to express. See, I, uh, that's a, that's a secret. Uh, Mario's got a fucking harem. He's as much a player as Link is. Yeah, and he's only interested in the one woman that doesn't really want him romantically, I guess. So weird. I think I always got to go for the princesses. That's awesome! That's awesome, bro! We should go back. Uh. You won't believe this, guys! Excuse me, sirs! Hi, Lu hi Mario, hi Luigi. Having fun in your little shack? This is actually just Mario's house. Luigi just visits. Yeah, he squats it. It's, it's a cabin. It's like, if you want to be out in the country. I found something amazing in our storeroom. Toadsworth found a treasure map. And it's real. Not again. Here we go again. Whoop de doop. Wah, 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 wah. What a wacky ending. <laughs> and so ends the tale of Danger Mario. There's Mario, Goombella, Frankly, Toadsworth. Oh yeah, Goombella did kiss Mario early on. Mario destroyed fucking everyone. Bunch of Merlinites. 
Mario got really heavy into illegal gambling and then just became powerful enough to destroy everyone. Why are some of the letters having seizures? Is that a style? That's a style choice. Probably. It's a feature. A. It's a feature. W. Is that just to, like, to show off the GameCube hardware? Look, we can have moving letters in our fonts. Well, Isn't that cool? I guess. Yeah, sure. If you say so. A. Are you supposed to, like, take all the letters and, like, it spells a secret message? A. A. Maybe I didn't think of that. A. T. E. Eight. Oh. Oh. I eight O E. Hey, it's just a bunch of vowels. It's not. It, it's too many it's, vowels. It's nothing. Oh, I eat. Oh, she. You know what though? We've reached the point in video game history where uh, we get the full names of designers, not just the initials. Yeah, or That's like nice. you know pseudonyms. People actually care that these people did. Put a lot of work into these games, yeah. and god damn it, they need representation. Did, uh... Nah, I forgot what I was about to say. Matsumoto, Rongiku. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I remember her. For lack of anything else to talk about, I actually forgot to bring this up earlier. I had, uh, I had some more weird dreams these past three days. Oh yeah, do tell. Uh, so, three days ago, actually, I don't think I've ever mentioned this on stream, let's, uh, might as well, any, no better place to drop this ball, I guess, Over. is that, uh, I am a mostly lucid dreamer. Yep. Or, at the very least, I'm, like, uh, I have, like, an identity in my dreams, and, uh, I'm a psychic, so I feel pretty much given that I'm, like, telekinetic in my dreams. And three days, three nights ago, I ran into Raven from Teen Titans. Yeah. That let you, you tend to run into her a lot. Well, not that often. But I, I did. It was, I, I just, I saw her and I said, Yeah, homegirl Raven! And they are like, let, let's fly off somewhere. And then she, she flo floated up and then... There was another girl that she was with, though, that was next to her. And she was just, like, standing there. Uh, I can't fly. And I was oh. like, oh, oh, okay, well, I'll, like, I'll telekinesis you with us. And she's like, no, 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 you don't get it. There's, like, a, a magic curse on me. Like, no type of flight will work, no matter what it is. <laughs> I can't leave the ground. That's some Ursi and Sura shit right there. Yeah. And also, I was having trouble, like, getting a group together and lifting everyone at once. So, I got, like, three folding chairs and put them in a, in a group and had everyone sit in them so, like, I could have the mental image of a car. That was my solution to the to the moving thing. <laughs> and then yesterday, I think I was uh, some like I was a female character in a horror style game, or in, like a survival horror. But it was like an indie survival horror. So like at like too many indie games, I had a, a talking cat familiar. I don't. I can't think of any. I've seen quite a few. Dust in a tail or something? I, I don't know. So things like that. But, uh... uh what was it? I was like, there was like a hole in the ground that I investigated, and out of it came, like, a tentacle tongue, and just kind of started moving towards me, and I stepped back, and it moved closer, and I stepped back, and it just kept getting longer and longer, and for some reason I knew that anywhere I went in the game world, this thing was going to keep going. It was infinite, like, infinitely long. Wow. And it would just pursue the entire game length. Also, there was some dude who was very matter-of-factly trying to kill me with a camera. With a camera? Yes. Like, as soon as, he, as, soon as your picture is taken with this camera, you die. Ah, oh, he was gonna fatal frame you. He was saying very matter-of-factly, oh, I, I, I have to kill you now. And I, I, <laughs> it's okay, with this camera, it's not supposed to hurt. Click, dead. <laughs> God damn! And there was no, there was no pausing to think. There was like you paused the game and kept, things kept going in real time. Oh, like Dark Souls. Yeah, sure. <laughs> the end. And so ends the tale of Mario bitch slapping his Shadow Queen. And the final fight with him was like some really obscure puzzle that you had to figure shit out in real time without the ability to pause. Oh man! While this tentacle was also still 
potentially pursuing you. God! This is a game made for speedrunners. It was a very unsettling situation. Fighting a killer photographer as well, being pursued by a tentacle. Yeah. Well, that's it. We're not going to spend long on it, but let's take a look at a sure. little post game. Let's, let's visit Roadport a little bit. That was... <laughs> you want to go there again, brah? Yeah, why not? So I'm away from you. So Okay, so level 32 is the level you have to get to to max badge points. Which means... <coughs> so if you start at level 1, that's 31 levels. 32 plus 31... Plus 62. 32, 34, 94 is the maximum level in this game. So we're one third of the way there. <laughs> you wanna grind? <laughs> sure, why not? Must be something special to convince you to return. Mario wipes out the entire fucking population of Roof. Although, if I had a Goomba that cute waiting for me in the dock, I might return too. See, this guy gets it. Goombella's the cute one. Yeah, he gets it. Totally glad I got to see you again. Everyone's ready. We heard you were coming, so we've been waiting here for you. We. All one of us. Oh, that's convenient. Nope, everyone's here. Whole gang. Everyone. We can never fight the Shadow Queen again. Because we killed her. We, we obliterated her. Now all that's left to fight her aliens. How's your oil business going? Nah, I mean, that's okay. I'm not interested in your oil journal. I, I'm happy you struck it, Rich. That was how he's gonna pay off Luigi. Did I go get the thing? I don't know, did you? I don't remember. Why can't I go to... Why can't I go to the island like this? This seems safe for the open <laughs> sea. <laughs> Yeah, paper boat. Like, yeah, that's really awesome. Safe for the open sea. What the fuck is back here? I think I did. That looks like an empty chest. Yeah, I did. Ah, uh, okay. It was a badge of some kind. This is Mario's hideaway. The ghettoest place in town, and it's totally vacant. <coughs> yeah, that's where Mario lives in Rogueport. Okay, so I don't think... We're not going to do any. I, I don't think there are any post-game only Trouble Center stuff. I think you get all of them after you get the... Get access to the 8th chapter. Ah. Trouble Center. What? Why are you? Oh no, there are post games ones. There are cads in the way of the great tree. These ne'er do wells. Doty. Oh, damn it. Doty. Is that a. What? I don't know. And then sub. I got in a fight with my mom. He helped me make up with her. Yeah, sure, why that not? That's fun. Erase that graffiti. I need someone to go to the 50th floor of the pit 100 trials. Fuck you, game! Why do you care if there's graffiti there? This was a nice pit of death. You don't understand. This was a nice dungeon. Great tree, cats. Who the fuck is this? I'm gonna do. I'm curious. Who, who's like fucking up, fucking with the great tree? All right. At the very least, uh, as long as you duck into Poshley one more time. Why? You know why? The oh, person, right, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Took me a second. <laughs> you know why. <coughs> You're right, I do. Where are we going? Bogley Woods, okay. Let's... Like, it has to be just a group of normal enemies of some kind. Perhaps. Maybe it's x knots Maybe it's gross. The x are just... The x knots are just monopolizing the tree. Okay, where are they? 
Were they did they say it was at the Great Tree or Yeah, it's the Great Tree. In Maybe front it, of the Great Tree. It's either inside or in front. Well, um Probably in Like he says he can't get to the Great Tree, so it had to be had to, has to be out somewhere in the woods, I would think. But I'll check real quick. This is the only tree. Gumbella, you're obsolete. You fade away and classify yourself as obsolete. Yeah, this song! I love this song! Woo! Uh... No anybody one. looking... I want eggs, too. I want Petunie's eggs. I... Can we read it? Maybe there's something we missed? I'm gonna check the woods. Alright. Just fucking around in the post game. Not for long. I'm gonna go here. I think I want to go to Twilight Town just to see if the sisters are there. So you can talk to them and be like, Hey! We're here. Oh god, you poor bastard. You really don't want to fight Mario. Let's see. There's an easy, quick, easy five batch points. Uh, yeah, I guess that damage dodges. You don't need to dodge damage, considering Actually, you already dodge damage. Okay. Where are you? There we go. There you are. Hello. What's that? You say you could help me. I was about to give up. The thugs up ahead. What the? I didn't see any thugs. I came from up. All the goons, just the common enemies. These dudes. Those guys. Those. Is that I walked into them and they died. <sighs> I'm in your debt, sir. Mario. Here, I'll give you my change from lunch. <laughs> he just walked through me. He's a dead man walking. He's gonna- we're finding him- gonna find him collapse on the next screen. Yeah, he's just a skeleton. I've become too powerful for my own good. I have to hide. Oh, what? I the coins didn't, uh, like, register until you hopped off of the dragon. That was weird. It's like when, uh, Super Saiyan Goku tries to, like, toss Chi-Chi gently into the air and she goes to the fucking moon. <laughs> She's sitting on the moon. Goku! And then she meets Boss Rabbit. Oh no, wait, he died several <laughs> times over now. Because the moon was blown up several times. <laughs> Worst life in Dragon Ball. The utterly forgotten rabbit on the moon. That was blown up. And then blown up again! God damn. Goku took his power pull to the moon in about five seconds, but it took him... Like, three days. But he couldn't use it to get up Korin's tower! It took him three days to get to the top of- to get to Kami's lookout. No, no, Dragon Ball's totally consistent writing. Way better than GT. <laughs> GT's a piece of crap. Was that- What was that character that was utterly forgotten about? Lunch? Was that it? Lunch. I- I forgot she existed, honestly. Alright, that character. Yay. See, that's talk, that's the lottery dude, by the way. Oh, that guy? Yeah. He didn't need to do it at, at all. Look how happy he is. <laughs> Never talked to him. Well, you know, this is a kid's game. Who needs gambling, right? Yeah. We don't. Fuck! Oh, wait. That's why, that's what why, do I care? That's why a major, uh, a major part of the Danger Mario strategy involves tons of gambling. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. You could buy the badges. Oh. Oh. Guess what we have a lot of? What? Money. <laughs> you wanna go gambling? Hey! 
Yeah, give me my Piantas. Oh, 50? I didn't know I had that many. I am a Pianta exchanger. Are you gonna buy some gold? My money! Hey, Luigi, I've got some gold for you. Will those be enough to complete the debt? Have I finally paid off this life bounty? He owes Luigi 5,000 coins and he's here gambling. <laughs> I swear, I'm a good for the next time. So. So how are you? After this game. Super, ba or Super Mario RPG? Yeah, is the, the plan. one. Which I. I you want to play through it or do you want me to play through it? You never played you through it. You could trade right? off. Okay. I've never played it, no. Yeah. Alright. I've always been interested in it, I just haven't gotten around to it. That'll, it'll, that'll be a fun game. And... Enough. And finally... Okay, that's all I'm worth. Every cent. Okay. Well, you traded our winnings for... MORE POWER! How many can we get? <laughs> no, at this point Luigi doesn't like, try to like, cash in on the debt because Mario's just that powerful. Yeah. Well, and also Mario still wants to pay him back, so he's like a very... A slow, moderate source of revenue. <laughs> he's, not, he's got stocks in Mario. <laughs> I... It, if he constantly owes me money, then I can always call him in for favors. It's good to be on Mario's good side. Yeah. The two most powerful men in the Mushroom Kingdom. One politically and one physically. Yeah. One guy is the Iron Fist, the other guy is the Velvet Glove. Alt alternate theory. They just get in good with the princess to seem less threatening. But they're totally gonna, like, plan on, uh, on, like, overthrowing her on the deck. You are a betrayer. You have betrayed me. No! <laughs> Where are you? How much power do we have? Hey, it's a quick change. Oh, you can still do a uh, lucky day. Yeah. Or I can do return postage. Oh, God, nah. return postage. That's only, that only works if they hit me. Yeah, they can't hit you. Even more power! Okay, so Twilight Town, then Poshley Heights, and then we're done. Yeah. Just as a... Kind of a last, uh... Last hoorah. Show off of, like, stuff you can do here. No, uh, no fat penguins for us to race. No optional bosses because we killed everyone. We, uh, yeah, we already took care of the optional boss. Call in more dudes! We don't have any more dudes! You he killed them all! These are some bad dudes! Luigi's like, well done, Mario. There's no, no challenges for us in Rogueport anymore. We now control the entire property. And now we must expand eastward to unknown territory. Well, Vivian's here, so... I mean, with, with us, obviously. Yeah. Vivian Clark. Vivian Clark? Who's Vivian that? Cl that was the fake game from the Soda Drinker Pro. Oh, right, yeah. It's... Oh, no, it's not a fake game, it's a real game. But Soda Drinker Pro is the main event, of the, <laughs> obviously. Apparently... This is so weird. I, 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 I never, I'll never get why they decided to do it that way. Okay. Hide, hiding a good game behind a obvious. It's so. It's like you want. Uh, you want your your good game to have as little exposure as possible. Why? Riding a Yoshi in your shop. It's a wild animal on the loose. Yeah. It's okay. It's a service animal. <laughs> The service uh, horse. Imagine a guy riding a uh, like riding a horse into sh into Safeway. <laughs> what? It's a service animal. <laughs> it helps me get around. Just like look down the aisle, and there's a guy on a horse just 
pick it at like pasta? And I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, you're on it, a horse. It helps me reach the high shelves. <laughs> Is he just dressed as like a fucking Confederate soldier? Yeah, sure. Shit? He's like spearing items with his bayonet. <laughs> just <laughs> putting him into his like fucking knapsack. <laughs> Go to get to the cashier. Like, hi. Do you realize there's a guy on a horse in, in the store? Oh, spice. <laughs> I'm on a horse. Well, I guess I forgot about. That. We've reached the point where we touch enemies and they die. There's yeah. no higher threshold we can reach. I think we're done here. Rogue Port. Rogue Port will forever, forever be conquered. Now, gee, I wonder who is here. Oh, oh hey! What's up? <laughs> You're in uh, Poshley Heights, huh? What's going on? It is you, isn't it, Mario? It's been quite a while. I've come here with Bootler. Ghost puns. Time to turn some heads on the road. Feel free to be overwhelmed by my beauty. God. She is very fuckable for a boo. Yeah, yeah. You think I guess. she's unfucked? <laughs> I don't know. Could she have been the Shadow Queen's? Wait a second. What, what is, is your relationship? relationship? <laughs> How do you know her? Just kidding. I always wanted to say that. You did go on an adventure with her, right? Tell me sometime. We fought a lich together. It that's, was pretty fun. That's Bootler. He's Bow's butler. Your beauty is like the song of a nightingale in the evening. Same Gumbario is in here. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, cool. Just, they cool have Easter. sprites in the game for all the former party members, but they... They only used her. Would have been so easy to have the others just sprinkled around to talk to, but God, you, yeah, it, no. they're all they're all in, like all the separate uh, all the locations. I like, guess they just want they just went with Bao because she's the one that they could have a reason for her to be here because she's rich. Maybe Gumbari Gumbari could show up. She's like, he's like, hey, I'm I was planning on moving here, Mario. Long time no see, and then uh, on like a family vacation or something. Yeah, we're in like. The Cooper. It turns out the two. Who knows what Cooper could do? He has no personality. Cooper and, and, and Coops are like cousins or something. Yeah, sure. And then uh, cousin Coops. And then oh, uh, the girl bomb mom can visit her homeland of uh, ah. Bob. Yeah. And then uh, who else was there? Bow. Watt. We saw her. Uh, Watt. <gasps> Watt <laughs> moved off on her own. I guess I don't know. Watt, Watt's now. She's become a. She's become the uh, the heat source for the island. For the oh, and then uh, yeah, the t it turned out they needed electricity, so they hired Watt. <laughs> and then uh, Paracurry. Oh, we forgot about. We saw him in the game. Yeah, he was he's he still was delivering mail. The only other person. We forgot. He's just looking around a spot for all the mail he dropped again. Yeah. Well, Watt. That, that's. Lack of Lester. Lack of Lester. Hang, uh, he married. He could be in Glitz Pit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah, about joining. What? He'd be hanging out with a girlfriend. He flew there. Yeah. Oh man. It, <laughs> We're forgetting someone, but I don't care. Sushi. Sushi. Uh, she's uh, she's on the island. She could be in the glitz pit. Fight fan, old lady. <laughs> That's great when you see one of those, right? Just an old oh, lady in the wrestling God. stands. Get him! Give him the chair! Yeah. It's my grandma, Granny Zelrock, watched wrestling for a while. I, yeah, you mentioned this. I've been tempted to show her some New Japan, but I think the swearing would give her a heart attack. Yeah, probably. Okay. All right, well, that's the end of, uh, of this chapter in Mario's that's cool life. Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door. We've become a god like Gumbario before us. Uh, we now touch things and they die. Yeah, yeah, now, now the stats that Mario, the power that Mario is, like, exuding in this game is, like, level one in the next game. Oh, so, yeah. Prepare for higher numbers in that game. Oh, you're talking about Mario RPG. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, we, we touch things and they die. We're, this is the end of it. Yep. Well, uh, thanks for watching. Paper Mario 2, Thousand Year Door, and, uh, see you for Mario RPG. Or sometime. whatever we decide to play next. See you later, guys.